What's up, everyone? How's it going? And welcome to the Christmas Eve stream of 2018. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're having a great Christmas Eve, having some awesome time with family, and uh, excited to be here, man. Excited to be playing some poker today. Um, so the plan to start today was the high rollers, but some of the high rollers have been canceled because it's like one of the slowest traffic days of the year, like top five slowest traffic days of the year online. So um, the 1K kickoff and the daily 530 are not happening, which means we're not playing those. But the 530 bounty we're going to play, and then we'll see on some of the later high roller clubs uh, if we're going to fire those as well. And then, of course, there's some winter series going on. So should be fun. By the way, what do you guys think? New EPT shirt? You like it? It's kind of cool, right? I picked it up in Prague. It's a little wrinkly, but, you know, it'll it'll calm down. Thank you guys for being here. Happy holidays. Hope you're all having a great day. Let's have a good session here, man. Let's go. December 24th, kicking off. Let's get with the Winter Series 5 low, the $11 progressive. And then we're going to go for the 109 version as well. Going to get the Bounty 215 happening. That's good. Um, daily Marathon. Kick off the daily marathon, put it in the blue. Good stuff. Big 44. And bounty 44. That's in three minutes. We can get something else first. Just a 22 progressive KO vanilla. There we go. So we're actually kicking off with four knockouts, which is pretty fun. Christmas just got better with the moneymaker of Twitch at Jamie Staples. Hey, <laughs> Merry Christmas to you and B Car Jamie. Cheers. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. If uh if there was like um if you had to correlate Twitch to to like normal poker players that influence, Jay Carve's gotta be Doyle, right? The grandfather. Of course. I'd take moneymaker status, 100%. Either the gain. Is that better or worse, the gain? Is that better or worse? Ooh, that looks worse. How about that? That looks a little bit better. Let me know if I screwed things up or not. Um, I think I'd be moneymaker. Uh, Tonka would be Phil Helmuth, obviously. Super obvious. Um... Hmm. Grinder opens. We have a offsuit here. This kind of sucks. Right away, this sucks. That's tight. <laughs> Check back. Um, Lex would be Danny Negreanu. Um, who else we got? Tonka might be Tony G, though, as well. But I feel like Tonka has more influence in the Twitch sphere than Tony G has on the poker sphere. Mm, I don't know. You guys make some comparisons, I think. Well, the 5 8 here. Okay, so yeah, we're in action. Uh, on Stake Kings, we have the 215 bounty in this Winter Series M that started. We've refunded the Daily High Roller Club, and the rest are to come still. Uh, raising a call. Queen deuce pretty bad hand. 5-9 is going to be a fold as well. Deuce 9. That's a weird one against the grinder. Like, we can 3-bet fold, but I, what I really don't like is our stack is 25 big blinds deep, you know? It's quite short. Oh, yeah, the Stars coin jackpot. I don't have any coins, I don't think. So I can't even get a share of it right now. Yeah. Uh, raise 3-bet. We'll fold the jack 8. Maybe I can get some stars coins in the challenge today. Okay, we've got it. 24th. 24th. Oh, what do I have to do to complete it? Unfortunately, I just got in on this challenge because I was an EPT prog for most of the month. And we did the meetup earlier in the month. So, full the A4 suited to the min raise. 10 deuce as well. Not great. What are the challenge we have? Winter series. Okay, we get into a free roll, which I'll be in Bahamas for, but you never know. I can play in Bahamas, right? You're allowed to play online. 
Ten nine suited. Fold that. Okay. Let's see. Okay, cool. Sorry, I was just checking something on my phone. Yeah, I'm not sure on the later high rollers. We'll see. We'll find out what happens. Jack's hot, still nothing. I only have more seven stars coins. Man, I'm really jealous because if it pops off, it's been more than 12 hours, right? So I wouldn't get a share of the jackpot if it pops off right now. And I'm not going to get any stars coins until we complete a chest. So hopefully... Good morning, Jamie. A Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Christmas, husband, Trev. Merry Christmas, man. Hope you're having a good day. This is a friend of the stream here. What's up, dude? Chris just... Oh, yeah, yeah. That was Bobby Winger. Bobby, you were the one that brought up the moneymaker. I like it. Raise up King Jack. And we get a call directly behind. This is the 215 bounty. Did you have a great day, Jamie? It just kind of started, dude, honestly. So last night, we streamed until um, like 3 in the morning or something like that. I don't know. So I didn't get to sleep till 5.30, maybe. It takes a while to wind down after a stream. So I set my alarm today for 2, and it's uh, 4.30, right? Yeah, 4.30. So um, haven't done anything today, man. Basically, my plan this evening is stream, go to the gym if I'm struggling to sleep and tire myself out. Um, and then I got to wake up early on Christmas Day. You know, we got to do gift exchange, got to have a little breakfast. And I got to head to Rebecca's granddad's at noon. So it's actually kind of a busy time. Pretty busy time. Sixes are very awkward here. 17 big blinds. I don't like shoving. It's close. Would Kmart be Jamie Gold? No, nah, Kmart's better than that, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to find the Kmart comparison. All in Pav is Joe Hashem. <laughs> Sticky Rice One was Gus Hansen. Yeah, or like uh or like Sammy Farhar or something like that. Back to perfect, alright. I think you're way off with these comparisons. I just mean in terms of relevance to what people have done for the game on Twitch, you know? So Lex is Daniel DeGrano. Doyle is... Or, uh, and Jay Carver is Doyle Brunson. Um, like, I, I'm i being very egotistical saying I'm, I'm Chris Moneymaker. I feel like our personalities are similar, though. You know? And, like, our stories of being the everyman are sim similar. Um but, like, obviously, my effect on Twitch poker is much smaller than his effect on poker in general. You know, like, they're not an equal comparison. Um, Phil Helmuth Tonka, I think, is a good comparison, you know? The tilter. Um, hmm. <laughs> Spraggy? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Poker stables for sure would be Dan Blazarian. I would not, man. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think there is any Dan Blazarians on, on Twitch. Like, I think uh, I think Bill Perkins would be Dan Blazarian. Bill Perkins' influence on Twitch. Uh, so our opponent has 17 big blinds to start the hand here. This is wider than we typically 3-bet to get in, but I think we should, given the bounty incentive in the spot. Of course, when they get it in, we're not going to be doing so well. But they can fold as well, which increases our equity. So a cold call behind, this is super strong. Just to check fold now. You know, like, pretty much got to have it, I think. 
Got to have a pair or like a strong ace. Like really strong ace, I think. The 215 bounty. We have middle pair of eights in a three-way pot. Kind of awkward. Probably get to see a turn, though. <coughs> Would you say are the slowest online poker days? Well, I think today is one of them. Yeah, today's the second worst day of the year for uh, poker business. The second worst day of the year. Wow. So, uh, I'll hold down the streets, though. I'll hold it down. So, we call heads up to the turn. It's not great, but we do have five outs to improve to two pair or three of a kind, right? So, that's 10% we're going to improve to a really strong hand. Um, and then some percentage of the time, they're bluffing, and they're going to check the turn. Sometimes they're going to check with a better hand, and we're going to get another 10% for the river. All that. But when they bet the turn, we got to get out of the way. I don't know what the slowest online day would be, Surfer Shep. I would assume, like, um, I don't know, maybe Christmas Day or maybe New Year's Eve. I don't know. Morton, drop a 500 bits. Merry Christmas, hashtag charity. Thank you so much, man. Bit Lord of the Day. Appreciate the support. Spreading some holiday cheer tonight. I like it, man. And using that hashtag charity as well, which is still going on today. Appreciate it. We have a strong hand. Hello. Over the call. Hello, B car. How was uh how was Christmas shopping? Whoa. War zone out there? Uh yeah, it was it was wild out there. Yeah. Okay. Mostly people are done their stuff. We were just grabbing food for dinner and stuff, guys. Yeah. Bet the river. And take it down. Here with the 6-4 suited in the 109 version, we call on the big blind getting a good price. We have a great check raise spot. When they have an ace, they're never folding. But some percentage of the time, they don't raise an ace. And we might be able to get them to fold, right? With our flush draw. Ace 10, okay, fair enough. We have one third equity. Ah, uh, oh no, we break. Out of the Winter Series medium, you guys. I'm not going to hop back in at this stage of the tournament with 20 bigs. So GG for us in that. And this is a reshove because we cover our opponent for a bounty um, with the pair. So any pair is going to be a reshove here. And we're flipping, which is great, given the bounty equity. And we win the flip. All right. 250 bounty coming our way, up to 64K. I like it. Matt Weiber. Matt Weiber in the house, dude. 45-month resub. In real life friend of mine. He helps me with uh, like bookkeeping and accounting and stuff, too, for the stream. Matt, thank you so much, dude. Welcome back to the team. Get some hearts out in the chat from Matt Weiber. My Lethbridge homie. Uh, East End off. We're going to call on the small. Kind of missed that flop, though. Merry Christmas, Jamie, to everybody. Chat. Hey, Firma, thank you. Would uh, Kmart be like Antonio Esfandiari? Would that be like Kevin Martin? Rebecca, we're basically talking about like if you had to correlate Twitch poker to the general poker world and like the influence people have had. Right. So Jay Carver's Doyle Brunson. Lex Veldhaus is Daniel Negreanu. I'm Chris Moneymaker. Tonka is Phil Helmuth. I think uh, Kevin would be like Antonio Esfandiari. Who would Phil Locke be? Jeff Gross. Jeff Gross, Phil Locke. Yeah, it could be. Who would be Phil Ivey? To be determined. Perhaps all in path. He's had a killer year. I've got eight of yogurts. Oh, wow. I love those yogurts. I call them yogurts. Yogurts. Thank you, B car. Okay, chilling. Uh, Queen Jack suited up here. We see a raise in early position. I'm gonna call. We cover for a seventy-five dollar bounty here. That's nice. I like the sounds of that.
Mm. Okay, and we go to the flop. We flop top pair. That's good. We're going to start with a bet. Got to get it in with aces against queen eight. Holds. Ah oh, man. Straight. What was that, Beaker? I'll uh, start the other in about an hour. Okay. Sounds good. Or is that too soon? No, that's great. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good to me. Start at any time. I'm pretty hungry, actually. Well, it's about an hour, so it'll take about 45 minutes, an hour today. Sounds good. So we're obviously hoping for a call here, like the longer they tank, the weaker their hand is. But I like shoving turn as opposed to betting small to make sure we can try and get the bounty. So they can't just check call and then fold river when they don't hit a pair or whatever. Okay, so we're up to 6,200 there. We lost that 22 knockout with the ugh, gross river, dude. But bounty 44 has fired up. So let's get that on the go. There we go. Bounty 44 in action. And big one of nines coming up. There's a 22 turbo that started 17 minutes ago. Just a vanilla turbo. I like the plans. Good win goes for a min raise under the gun in the daily marathon. It's a frisky three bet, but we're going to give it a go. Hey, it's a Marlboro. Thanks, man. Thanks for the Merry Christmas. Marlboro says uh, Merry Christmas to you, B-Car. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Festive festivities. Yeah. Holy Grail. Yeah. Nice one. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> Kwanzaa and uh, Hanukkah. Winter solstice. What else? Kmart is the Unibobber. Maybe maybe Kevin is uh, Locke and Jeff Gross is Esfandiari. I don't know. I don't know which order those go in. But we're going to raise up ace three on the button. And we're going to go for a small seabed here. Not a big one. Okay. Take it down. We call off the ace three against eights. They're very short here. They hit an eight. And we are... We had outs. But we lose. Here with the Jack-10 suited 3 bet, we're going to continuation bet here. Take it down. That worked out. Nice. <coughs> Rated GTO is the Johnny Chan of Twitch. Okay, there you go. Merry Christmas to you and B-Car. Also to everyone in the chat. I already read that, but thanks again. Flibbity Flab dropping some bits. Hashtag charity. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support. Hearts out in the chat for Flibbity Flab. So we see a min raise after a limp and then just a reshove. With a bounty and stuff, but it's not worth it here. Let's go to the ace hand. We shove in the bigger forty or the big forty four. Flibbity Flab dropping more bits, dude. Three bit bombs. Thank you, Flibbity Flab. Bits on bits, switch your mans. What about Arlie? That's a good question, man. Who would Arlie be? Um, who would Arlie be in the poker world? Pretty awkward here on the river. We block a lot of the misdraws we want them to have for what it's worth. Uh, but we also block the nuts, too. Not the nuts, actually. That's not true. But we block straights and flushes. But it is a paired board. All right, I'll fold. Give cred. You'd be Todd Brunson. I don't know about that, dude. I've never de met Todd Brunson, but I think we're very different um, personalities from what I've seen. I don't see a lot of similarities between us. We're going to three bet here with the king queen. Easy get in against this opponent who has 16 big blinds. I'm trying to think who Arlie would be, dude. Same hand. Diamond! No. Chop it up. Mm. 
I'm trying to think. Who would be uh, Mike the Mouth Matisau? Who would that be, by the way? Don't know. We have trips though in the Big Forty Four. Hopefully, we can get some uh, get some cash. Gets aces. Feels good, man. Come on, let's -a go. Up to ten k. Full double up there. Check, check in the flop. The big bet on the turn. Easy call when we pick up the nut flush draw. And we still have ace high. Check, check. Hope we win against a bluff. But nine's full. Take it down. All right. Uh, who would Finton and Spraggy be? I mean, we've got to jump over the pond, you know, so like, um, like the people that used to play on that old cash game that was run in London, you know, where you had to ring the doorbell and you'd see the guy and then you'd go to the thing. Who were the regulars in that game? It was like David Williamson the third. There was, uh, Victoria. Uh, Vicky Korn. And then there was her husband. Who's on all the panel shows nowadays and stuff? David Mitchell, is that his name? Who was in that game? And Tony G. Yeah. Uh, we've been at, back at it, DJ, since like the summer, dude. Been on it for quite a while. Yeah. We'll get there. All right, we're chipping up really nicely here. To raise up nines in the bounty 215. Fortunately, don't cover many people, but this could be a hand that gets us some chips to cover people. Take it down. Thank you, good run, gone bad. Thanks for the Merry Christmas, man. So what's your guys' uh, Christmas plans, by the way? What are you guys up to? What are you doing tomorrow? We're going to Rebecca's granddad's at noon. So I figure we need to... We need to... Like, meet up at, like, 10 o'clock, right, Vicar? Uh, what for the... For, for, like, presents and gifts and stuff? Like, Brando should come over for around 10, you think? Um, yeah. Yeah, about 10 o'clock. And, uh... And do that. I guess we'll walk to Granddad's. We'll walk to Granddad's. I don't mind paying double time on the holidays. Got to hit up the taxi man, you know? He's taking the Christmas off, drive people around. I don't mind double paying them. If people didn't require taxes and people wouldn't have to work on Christmas Day, because no one gets a tax day on Christmas Day, maybe next year they'll get the day off. That's not how the world works. We require a taxi. <laughs> Arlius Humberto Brennes. <laughs> I like that comparison, man. Arlie's Todd. Lex can't beat Negreanu, though. But we're talking about Twitch poker's relevance in comparison to, like, poker ambassadors' rele relevance on poker, you know? So people's influence in Twitch poker compared to people's influence on the game of poker as a whole. So Lex is the biggest poker streamer that there's ever been. Uh, I think. I mean, Carver would be close. Uh, they're probably pretty similar. But I'm pretty sure Lex takes the cake, I'd say. 
don't know. It's tough to say. Um, but that's why he should be. They should be Negreanu and Doyle because Negreanu and Doyle. Because it's kind of like Negreanu, Doyle, and uh, and Phil Hellmuth in terms of like biggest influence people have had on our game. You know, so those three should be those three. And that just fits, you know? Like, I don't think Lex is Helmuth. I don't think uh, Jay Carver is Negranu. I don't know. I, that seems to make sense for me. Full the ace queen on the turn? Guess so, man. We could have got bluff. We just got a dono. $4.16 from PSR. Thank you so much, PSR. Happy holidays, man. Appreciate you always hanging out, always hyping us up on Twitter, here on the Twitch streets. Appreciate all your support, dude. Thanks for the 416. Biggest D of the day, by the way. Biggest one I've seen. Um, yeah. Devilfish, right. Devilfish. How could I forget that? Who's Eric Seidel? I feel like Eric Seidel is like... Um, I'm trying to think of like... He's obviously a quieter character, you know? So, like, a grinder needs to be Eric Seidel. Like, um... Like Poker Devil or something. Spraggy could be Neil Channing. Oh, yeah. Spraggy's Neil Channing for sure. That's it. Who's Fenton, though? Fenton can be Barney Boatman. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> How about Jesse May? Who's Jesse May? All right, Ace Queen of Clubs here in the Winter Series 5 low. On the button, pretty good. Um, hey, Jamie, massive fan, mate. What's up, Jack Clark? Thanks for being here, man. Thanks for hanging. Start with the check call with the eights and then the ace queen. Don't see the best flop of the world, but still, we can at least call a lead here. So many good turns. Ace, king, queen, ten, club, all that's good. And we see one of those good turns, which is the best. A pot-sized bet. Still think we call here, honestly. We have uh, nine outs to the nuts. An ace or a queen might be good, and there's going to be some bluffs in here as well. And we're in position, so when we hit, we're often going to get paid. Because, you know, there's not much money back, so. Uh, we hit a queen. They check. Do we want to value bet our ace queen? I think so, man. It's pretty wild, but I think we should. Aw, oh, dude. Jack seven. Oh, man. All right, we're out of the Winter Series low, guys. We did get a 250 bounty, but GG. With the bounty 215, I don't like opening this hand. One of the weakest hands we typically open, but uh, there's knockouts involved, and people are going to play back at us a lot. <coughs> right, Christmas plan. Sig Bjorn eating traditional Norwegian I am meat soon. I am? I am? How do you say it? All right, call it off. Club. Not today, Daddy. In the twenty-two six max turbo, we can re-enter. Yeah, we'll do that. <coughs> we're gonna bank one of these winter series tourneys. Yeah, dude, I'm with you. Oh, we're going on break. Okay, guys, let me pause the tunes. I'll be back in a uh, couple minutes. Enjoy some highlights from. Uh, I don't know. What, what highlights should we do? Oh, yeah, the vlog. 
The vlog is pretty cool, actually. I just uh, watched it. It's about yesterday's grind, so nice little recap. Should be interesting. Be right back. Stay with me. What's up, guys? We're back in action. Thanks for being here. Popping right into a hand where we have a gut shot. Go three ways to the turn, though. Definitely a check fold now. An outside shot. <laughs> it's not super likely we have the best hand, but you never know. Obviously not going to be doing any betting. Once they bet, it's easy for them to have a queen or a flush here. Both of them have a queen. Raise up ace queen, the very next hand. Okay. Definitely a shove here as well, next hand. And we need help. Can't get it, fortunately pretty short. Let's go to the big 44. We have double starting stack. By the way, we have the high roller club 530 starting up soon. Big 109 just kicked off, so let's uh, throw that up top left. Here we go. Matt equals Eric Seidel, grinder, and kind of keeps to himself. I don't know, man. I know Matty Ice. I feel like he's got a bit more edge than that. Like, I've never met Eric Seidel, but I don't think he's wanted to be... Like, he was always the guy that wouldn't show his whole cards to Cam, you know? Because he really didn't like that idea. I'm not firing shots or anything, you know? But, like, Matt's streaming on Twitch, so... Um, I don't think that would be Matty Ice... Personally. I don't know. I'm trying to think on Matty Ice. But on the bigger side, and we get raised, which is very annoying. Um, it's a good argument for a check back here. <laughs> Probably have to fold. We have two overs and a gutter, but like this can... So there's so many strong hands that do this. Like two pairs, straights. Like yes, some flush draws and stuff, but those have decent equity against us. You know, like a top pair is doing really well. Playing your hands against Poker Luffy, friend of the stream, but also a beast. Call about a 30. Bet the turn. Our trip fives. Take it down. All right. Sounds good to me, man. And East 10 offsuit against a raise under the gun for 17, 18 big blinds. Pretty close here. Pretty close. All right, we're going to shove. It's on the line. They stand off suit here. Cheers, Shock. Yeah, I need to get a better break screen going. We're flipping against fours, and we hit an ace. Pretty wide call by fours for what it's worth as well. Did he win? Yeah, he won the middle. No match. way. Or like, just over 5K, I think it was. Let's go, JoJo. Taking down the, uh, was the mini marathon? $5? Yeah, 550 marathon. That's yeah. epic. Congrats, JoJo. I mean, he's probably still sleeping. <laughs> That's awesome. I saw it on Twitter earlier. Poker Luffy opens. We're going to call on the button with the Jack 10 suited. How many hours is Christmas away? For us, it's seven hours. Seven hours away, B car. Seven hours, so like an overall present. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Only tomorrow morning on the presents. No, when it's Christmas. It's a bad flop for Jack. Ten King Seven against Ace King. Ooh, <laughs> we need a seven. Or a Jack. Or in no, that doesn't count either. We could re enter, but it's pretty late in this tournament. For the blinds? Yeah. Not gonna fire that. Let's fold the Jack Ten. This is our best act to start. Ooh, can we raise that? No. 
But even so, we couldn't with this uh, really short stack behind. Okay, what do we have going on? The 27 three stack hyper in four minutes. I'm going to fire that bird. Ace queen. Raise it up. 90 minutes buzz with the red wines. Enjoy, man. Enjoy it. We have one bottle of red wine, but I don't think tonight's the night, right? I think we should have a glass tonight. I don't know. You want a glass tonight? I don't know. Good. Maybe not. Could be tomorrow, too. Because <laughs> we're taking the 26th off. I could have a glass. Not yet, though. Too early. Yeah, that's true. I thought if we have a glass tonight and a glass tomorrow, that'll pretty much be the, the bottle gone. Sounds good to me. Uh, check, check. We'll check on the turn as well. Let's try and get to show down with our East Queen. Should be the best end. What's up, a Chewy Ninja Dragon? Good to see you. I call. I don't know what it is, but it's really cheap price, so we'll call. Um, what advice do you have to American players that want to play online? Seriously, it's a tough one, dude. I'm not the authority on that. I'm sponsored by Poker Stars, so like I. Uh, I know PokerStars is in New Jersey, but in terms of like other options in the U.S., I know there's unregulated sites, but uh, I'm not the right guy to talk to about that. Uh, let's see if I can find this table theme yet. Yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. We got to celebrate after we win the 530 bounty. Jared Bell Photography. What's up, man? Dropping the 18-month resub. OG in the building. Good luck on the ground today, and Merry Christmas to you and yours. Thank you, Jared Bell. Much appreciated, man. Hope you're having a great holiday. Appreciate all your support. Um, And... Pull the king queen now. Pocket threes. What's uh what's for dinner, B card? Homemade chicken curry. Oh, all right. We used to, we used to always have um, pork roast New Year's Eve, and then we'd have, we'd have turkey on Christmas Day, Boxing Day because my mom was always obsessed about cleaning out the fridge. We would always clean out the fridge on Boxing Day, just like all the leftovers. Then we'd usually have like a flank steak or something, twenty seventh. A conventional roast, maybe, on the 28th, like... Well, that's why I asked you earlier what you wanted for tea tonight, because I thought maybe there's some, like, tradition that you have. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to get you to cook a, <laughs> a pork roast in the oven for the I two of us. <laughs> that's okay. I'm going to call flop with the fives, ace in the turn. Not the best turn for our hand. We pick up a gut shot to go along with the fives, but it's a bit awkward. Um, I think call, given the price... 25%. We only have two outs to improve to a set and then four outs to improve to a straight. So that's about 12% to improve. So we need them to be bluffing like 12.5%. I think they are, but a clear fold on the river. Clear fold. Let's get something going in this 215 boot, please. I want a hand in the 215 booty. Queen 10 off. Quite awkward. 
Don't know anything about this opponent either. Okay, I'll fold. What did you say, suited? Do you know what the present present opening equity etiquette is at B cars? How did you use to open your gifts? So it's a minute. It's Christmas. Minutes. It's Christmas. You're lying. You just want to open gifts. How did you actually do it? Uh, I'd wake up at the crack of dawn and like I'd be bouncing on mum and dad's bed. Right. And like get it. Danielle always used to go out on Christmas Eve and be right. hammered and like tired and sleepy. Okay. Yeah. I would always be up really early, so I'd have to like get everyone up and I'd have to put the kettle on. Get everyone ready for for yeah. the gift opening. And then mum would have to light the fire before we started. And right, light the fire. I okay. Had to have a drink and like. <laughs> get going. Real life <laughs> We used to, so I was telling this story a little bit yesterday at at lunch, or dinner, I guess, at lunchtime. <laughs> you would open presents at dinner? No, no, no. So we would, so we would wake up as early as we could, because I would never sleep, obviously, because you can't. So I'd be, like, bouncing around all, all night, waiting, and then my parents would, like, set a time we were allowed to go, which was usually, like, 7 or 8 a.m., so we'd get them, and then we'd all wait on the stairs at my family's cabin. This is a reshove, by the way. Ace-8 suited. Against King-10. Hold! Come on, Dottie. No, that's a king. That's an ace! That's a queen. <laughs> oh, they have a straight. Don't do me like that on Christmas Eve! Yikes. Yikes, man. Um, we'd wait on the stairs, then we'd come up, and there'd be the Santa presents, right? So basically the presents the Santa brought us. These aren't wrapped. They would just be in our own individual places. So we'd check those out. We'd be super hyped. Like, usually it was, like, our big gifts were Santa presents, you know? Really? Yeah. So, like, um, like new phones or, like, iPads or computers or, like, headphones. Like, tech sort of stuff that well, we really they'd wanted. they from Santa? They'd be from Santa, yeah. Wow. And then, so we'd have those. We'd check them out. Like, if we got some new stuff. You know, like, if you got a new iPod or new phone or something, you'd start, like, setting it up and hang out. But we had to wait for our grandparents to wake up. Which we win this flip, nice stuff. Um, they wouldn't wake up till like ten usually, or get out until ten after the shower. So you got to wait for like three hours. Then you start having cinnamon buns, and orange Julius, right? Which you'd have every Christmas morning. And then my grandparents would have like a quiche or something like that, like a special kind of uh, breakfast. Then maybe around eleven, eleven thirty, you'd get to the actual presents under the tree. Which was very anticlimactic from the Santa presence. Yeah. Like, it was just stuff that, like, was kind of cool, but it wasn't, like, the big thing, you know? Yeah. So you'd open those for about an hour. Everyone would get their gifts. And then, uh, and then you'd sort of move your stuff to your room. And then everyone would take a nap because no one slept, right? So it's just, like, everyone would take a nap in the afternoon, play with their new stuff, you know? And then get together for turkey dinner at around 5. Way too much turkey dinner. Everyone is just, like, exhausted all night and, like, naps and falls asleep and then kick it off on the 26th. <coughs> That's how it went in my house. I, don't, I can't really remember what, how the Santa thing worked in our house, but, like, we never got big presents from Santa. No? I think, like, all the stocking fillers were from Santa. Right, stockings, yeah. yeah. <coughs> and then the... The big gifts were from, like, mom and dad and family, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Stockings were always just, like, sweets and gum and toiletries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure. And, like, care rings and... We usually got a gift certificate to iTunes in those as well. Yeah. Do you know, if we ever have children... Yeah. If they're really naughty, we will be cancelling Christmas. <laughs> we will not be cancelling Christmas. We will. If they're no. naughty and not listening, yeah. they're not getting a Christmas. Oh, man. I'll take the tree down and I'll take all the presents away. And if they start behaving, then Christmas is back on. <laughs> You're going to be like the reasonable like, parent and I'm going to be... Well, I'm just going to do my best to train them up to be respectful kind human beings in the first place you know yeah. so that they won't ever get that out of line but who knows i've never had kids i don't know what it's like all right let me see what's going on uh 
in the chat here. Because I missed some chat for a while. Is that tree real or fake? Real tree, man. Dynasty, that's crazy that your trees cost that much. This tree was what? 30 quid? How much was the tree, B-Car? Or was it like 100? How much was the tree? Fifty-five quid. So about like a hundred uh, Australian dollars ish. But it's eight foot. Eight foot tree. Nine foot. Nine foot tree. <laughs> um. And call here on the river. We chop most of the time. Whoa, trip tens. We got let off cheap there. Cooking Christmas dinner. Going to need a full bottle of red wine. That's true. Did you convince B Car to do the next meetup in Elton? We have a Burger King now. Whoa! Little Burger King before the meetup in Elton? Yeah, it's confirmed, dude. We're working on dates. And we're we're in discussions with the Burger King to see if we can rent out a table. <laughs> Red wine, white wine, beer, whiskey, vodka, rum, what's your preferred poison? Gin, actually. Gin or red wine? You can't have a Christmas Eve gift. It's not allowed. That's how we do it. What is this? Can't have it. Sorry. Right. Put it back under the tree, B car. You can't have it. What about this one? Can't have that either. It's alright. Um so we pick up a straight draw on the turn. Let's bluff. Open ender. You ever had turdurkin, Jamie? No. What's turdurkin? All right, we brick. Hearts get there, though. Let's try a little bluff here. Let's bluff them. That's me, Jep Jep, in the uh, big 44. Oh, nice, dude. Friend of the stream. Got to obviously fold to the raise. They probably had hearts. We have friend of the stream, Jep Jep, here. Half stack now. This is 27 hyper. Or no, it's a three stack, so actually we're at starting stack, basically. Let's try and get something. A lot of states are starting to move towards uh, legalize, legalizing online gaming. I think regulating. It's legal in most states, but it's not regulated. It's like typically, at least this is my understanding, it's typically illegal to operate as an operator in most states, but it's not illegal to play. Except for, like, I think Washington State is an exception where it is illegal to play. Something like that. I'm not an expert, but... Yeah. I think this Hoking Poker Stars in a lot of states with the bad actor clause. For example, Cali will probably have legalized online poker within the next year or so, but Poker Stars has to wait an additional three years. Yeah. We have a legal in New Jersey, Nevada, uh, PA soon, hopefully pulling with New Jersey and Delaware. And then Michigan just passed a bill as well, right? Raise three bets, full this nine eight suited. Come on, give us something. King 10, is this a shove? Yes, if we get a fold here, but we see a raise, which kind of ruins the plan. Since when? Since Jamie, since when you joined 888? I just play on PokerStars, dude. You misheard, my friend. Just play on stars. Nines against queen 10 here. No, the queen hits a queen. Okay, we're going to have to get our second stack going. We still have two stacks. So basically we have a 3,000 stack right now. But I like being shorter in this tournament because you find more profitable spots. B car Grinch confirmed from Ryan. Ryan called you the Grinch. Ryan Schoenbert. What's that? He called you the Grinch. I don't know why. Oh, about the kids, probably. About the kids, yeah. Cancel Christmas. <laughs> Ace nine off under the gun, eight handed. Not quite. A shove here. Baby. Yes. I what? It's Christmas Eve. Oh, but the EPT sweater. The EPT shirt. It's Christmas Eve. Uh, All right, I got to put on this sweater. Give me a second, everyone. We have Ace Deuce as well in the 215 bounty. And a shove here. Oh. 
Yikes. Alright, I don't know, I'll fold. I'll fold it, man. Queen Nine suited, this is also could be a shove. Yeah, you're right. You know what? This does feel right. This feels right on Christmas Eve. This does. It feels good. Good call, B car. Let's go down to the bounty 44 sec for a second. Raise call. I'm going to call as well. Nines. I don't think it's quite good enough to squeeze. Our sack's a little bit too deep to want to risk that much. Just call. Take it to the streets. Been a call. Now we fold on the king queen flop. Pretty bad for nines. Still waiting for our moment in the 215 bounty. Oh, it smells good all of a sudden. What happened? You put some spices in? Spoon stuck in a jar. How? Yeah, don't do that over here. How did you get a spoon stuck in a jar? I don't know. It went down, but it won't come up. Well, you might have to work a different angle. Oh, I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> B-Car got it stuck on an angle, and she was just yanking. Like, couldn't figure out. You might have to, like... Oh, my God, man. King 7 off. It's got to be close. Shove the ace 10 in the hyper. Turdurk. Turducken. Turducken, okay. Turkey, duck, chicken in one. Oh. That sounds intense. Chicken inside a duck inside a turkey. Mm. You know what my favorite part of uh, Christmas dinner always was? The stuffing. Because my mom would make this amazing stuffing. So she'd buy white lo loaves of bread, obviously. And then cook it like the day before, usually, on a stovetop with, um, with like butter and garlic and like, you know, just like it was really good. It's like gooey, wholesome, but like firm bread. And then, you know, you put it in the fr fridge and then stuff the bird with it, but that wouldn't fit all of it. So then some of the rest of it, you just kind of heat up. And then you have the turkey gravy on top of that stuffing. It was like, it's literally one of my top five things in the world. Really? Yeah. I don't think I can make it like that. That's okay. I mean, we're not at home. I want the B-car experience. King, queen against sixes. Can't win the flip, unfortunately. Aya, we're taking our last stack for 1,500 chips here with the ace shack. Jack seven, Oshawa, Joshua. Drop of the sub, he's in Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Welcome to the team. Get some hearts to the chat for Joshua. Thank you, dude. Do we bet with Ace Jack? Maybe not. We're against what seems to be two seniors. We're not going to get three streets of value. Kind of want to control the size of the pot here a bit. Bet turn call. We just want a deuce of diamonds on the river. That's our hope. We're still beat by a decent amount of things here, honestly. That's a brick. Seven only completes 10-8, and 10 is really unlikely to bet the turn, so feel pretty good, but we're bluff catching. It's a check. Now, are we too thin to bet here? Which is kind of interesting, right? Because a lot of draws miss. We're not getting any value from draws. So we're trying to get called from King Jack, King Nine, Jack Nine on this river. That's it. It's too thin to bet here, which seems crazy, but it's true. Queen Nine. Not calling, you know? So, like, obviously we think we have the best hand most of the time. But what can call us? King Jack, we block. Jack Nine, we block. It. Like a single pair of ace is probably gonna fold. A nine's obviously gonna fold, so it doesn't matter against that hand. Yo, can we get to love of the chat for knife tracks official drop in the host for 50 viewers? Knife tracks, thank you so much. Really appreciate that, man. Welcome everyone tuning in. I don't think I've seen your stream. I'll have to check it out when I can. 
Appreciate that very much. Zach, our friend from uh, Victoria, we went for breakfast with, B-Car. Oh, yeah. What's up, Zach? Dropping the 40-month resub. 40 months is sometime. Merry Christmas, Jamie. B-Car, the Staples family to B-Car's family. Most importantly, Merry Christmas, Chet. You filthy animals. You nailed it, dude. Exactly. Thank you so much for that, Zach. Welcome back to the team. 40 months in a row. Hearts in the chat for the man. We need help in the 215 bounty. We're very short. 5.30 bounty is starting in three minutes as well. We'll get it whenever we have table space. King Queen's going to be the one. <clears throat> Unless it goes absolutely wild before us, King Queen is the play. All right, here we go. Feel pretty good about this one. Let's hope for the best. Ooh, dinner is coming. King Queen, Ace King. No, man. Really unlucky to... Uh Run into that, honestly. Not going to re-enter the 215 bounty, GG. Thanks, Rebecca. So let's shove Ace-9 over this. Yeah. Shove the Ace-9 suited in the hyper. This is their last stack. Against King-Jack, we're ahead on this one. That's a good flop. 669, good turn, good river. Let's go. Back to 3200. Take it. Big 44 are probably our best stack right now. 67 of 80. And very soon we had the 530 bounty. And the Winter Series, the 5 and the 55. Hypers. Whoa. Didn't know they were hypers, dude. That's wild. Okay. What's up, JoJo? Congrats, man. I heard you took down the um, mini marathon, man. Congratulations, dude. Get some get some ship it's in the chat for JoJo. Mm, check back. It's a really bad board for our hand. We don't have very many good turns either. So I want to fold, but the thing is, there's a lot of draws. This is a small bet as well. Yeah. We need a brick on the river to call. Deuce of clubs is not really a brick. Be king queen. All right. That's good. If they bet a different size there, we definitely fold on the turn. Hey, Jamie, we met in the Bahamas two years ago. Good luck in the Winter Series. Knife Tracks. Cheers, man. Met in the Bahamas two years ago, and you're streaming on Twitch now. Got to scope it out. Thank you, man. This is not the stream to watch while on an exercise bike. God, I'm hungry now. Yeah, sorry, dude. I'm sorry. You know, it's just like the holiday hype. The holiday hype is too real. Merry Christmas, Shogun. Oh, my God. Look at this homemade. Look at this homemade curry. 
Oh my god, Vicar. Alright guys, I'm going to... Uh, what table are we going to sweat here? Thank you so much. Alright, let's sweat the big 44. I'm going to take out the face cam and mute the mic for a second. Just allow me to enjoy some Christmas Eve dinner here. With the B-car. And uh, we're going to keep grinding though. We're going to hop in the 530 bounty when I get back, okay? So stay with me. Thanks for being here. What's up, everyone? We are back and that's a bit loud. Is that lo louder? That's louder. That's softer. That's better. There we go. Uh, that's still loud. Okay. How about that? That's better. Uh, we see a shove here. We're going to fold. Getting pretty close to the money here. 13 off, which is cool. Daily Marathon, we're sitting at 15.5. Big one of nine. We're just below starting stack. 5,800 in the bounty 44. But the High Roller Club 530 bounty is in action. And we're going to hop in now. Let's go. Good luck, us, you guys. Starting with 25,000 chips. Should be a hype tournament. The only confirmed High Roller Club of the day. There could be more. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Whew. Just gotta let that food digest, you know? <laughs> I gotta I gotta chill it out. A bit, you know? Just enjoy some chill vibes this Christmas Eve for a bit. <clears throat> Bet Nicole with our open ender. Back to our flush draw. We'll call. We want a four or a nine on the turn. Not the ace. Eight seven suited for thirteen bigs. It's pretty close, I think. I think typically it's a shove. Do we need to make any adjustment being 11 away from the money? Don't know. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Um, all right. I'll shove. Not entirely sure. Because the bubble's 11 away, but we're it's a small field, so it's not as close as, like, you'd think. We're still probably... Two orbits, three orbits away from breaking the money bubble. Uh, I think we was friend, Jamie. We're still friends, dude. It's got to shove, you know. Every once in a while, you got to put the money in there. Rumble. Thanks for dinner, Rebecca. It was really good, you guys. Chicken curry, some vegetables in there, like cauliflower and stuff. It's delicious. Ace 10, uh, Lian Zik shoves for 12 big blinds. We're getting an okay price, 1.7 to 1. We need 37%. Of course, they're going to have a lot of better hands, but when they don't have better hands, we're doing pretty well. So I think we have to call because of price. We don't expect to be ahead very often, right? Like, I don't think they're shoving Ace 9 suited. Spade. Oh, Queen will do. All right. But you have to think they're shoveling, shoving like pretty much all their pairs with 12 big blinds. Maybe all their pairs. Um, and then they're shoving some suited connectors as well. So it's just the average of all those things. Does it equal at least 37%? And my, my guess is yeah, it does. <coughs> Raise and a shove for 17k. We'll fold. Queen six offsuit. We are out as well. Guten appetite. What does guten mean? 
Guten Tag is good morning. Good appetite, I'm guessing, right? Um, Queen Jack. Kind of close. Six off the money. No? So we'll just fold. Probably pretty close to a shove. Merry Christmas, my friend. Absolutely. Back at you. What are you up to today? Um, who was it? Who said Merry Christmas, my friend? Wait a second. Did I just read the message from Staples Bot? Merry Christmas, Staples Bot. What are you doing today? Oh, I'm an idiot. It's all right. At least I'm a self-aware idiot, right? <coughs> Check here on the turn. And check out the river. But I bet we have the best hand. We do. Good stuff. No bluffs from our opponents. Shipping up nicely. Five away from the money now. Back up to our 530 bounty. The uh, chip leader in the tournaments. Ace Ace Sam in the big blind. We're only 14 people in there right now. There's definitely a chance for overlay today. Queen three is a fold. Ace ten. Once it goes raise, re raise. We're out. Out of here. Let's mark Sam as a senior. Don't know on this opponent. Digi team is good. You see the other table here. Okay. Sounds good to me. Good luck, Jamie. Thank you, Tom Nicole, 98. Thanks, man. Hope you're having a good one today. Merry Christmas Eve. People say uh, happy Christmas here, don't they? In England. You never say happy Christmas in Canada. It's always merry. So Jay's raises. We're going to call with a king jack at the small blind here. Jay's in middle position. Pretty aggressive player. See a boring flop. Not a lot we're going to do there. Shoving suit of connectors versus under the gun 25 BB open. Uh, no. No, I don't. In most cases, no. It depends on our position as well. All right, we're going to raise here. It's close. Tens, nines, all right. Check here with the sixes. Pretty bad flop for the sixes. We do hit this board stronger than our opponents, right? We raise under the gun, so that contains a lot of aces, a lot of kings. Problem is that uh, we're four ways. So it kind of just like, well, someone's probably got a pretty decent piece of something.
Raise ace 10. Under the gun, plus one. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Poker Health. Merry Christmas. All right. Limped pot. We flop it a two pair. Let's get money now. Get money now is the plan. Um, pretty good flop for the King-10. Different King-10 this time. Let's start with the lead. And get called in both spots, ace on the turn. It's not what we're looking for. Check back. Ace of spades on the river. Oh, that's a really bad run out. One of the worst. Jack of spades would have been a bit worse, I think, but, uh, yeah. Not so hot. So, uh, just check down hope for the best, but it's really unlikely that we're going to win this pot. Yep. We're on the bubble here, so hopefully in the money uh, next hand, but we're going on a break right now. So, we're going to pause the tunes for a couple of minutes. We're going to play some uh, of the vlog from yesterday, yesterday's stream, and I'll be back in a few, okay? Watch the Poker Tables on Twitch. Stay with me. What's up, everyone? We're back in action. Thanks for being here. In the money of the Big 44, get your stap reds out. We've cashed the tournament, dude. See what I missed on break. Uh, sat at work, board out of my mind. Cheers for streaming, Jamie. Hey, man. Thanks for being here. Merry Christmas. Sucks you got to work, but I'm here for you, dude. Let's hang. Nothing better than hanging with Jamie on Christmas Eve, playing a little winter series. Good luck, kid. Thank you, Scott Monroe, YEG. Good to see you, man. Been a while. Good to see you in the house. Hopefully everything's great with you in life. Got to leave work early today. Now me and the wife are going over to mom and dad's for Chinese foods. Good luck. Cheers, man. Enjoy that. SG Far Carson. Martin Gell. Hey, Jamie. I bought action in Stake Kings for today's Daily 500. When looking at the Pokestars lobby, there seems to be an early day Daily 500. And my blinder is a mistake on Stake Kings. Uh, yeah, refunded. It should be refunded, Martin Gale. I think it'll be refunded after I already sent a message to them. The 1K uh, kickoff and the Daily 500 were canceled just because... Apparently today is like the second slowest day for online poker of the year, the 24th. So they canceled some of the High Roller Club. I didn't know until this morning, basically. Sorry, I'll turn down the music. Um, so that'll be refunded to you. Sorry that you missed out on that, man. I'm sorry I missed out on playing it. But if you got some of the 530 Bounty, it's uh, it's in action here, as well as some of the other tournaments and stuff. Just those two are canceled. You get a full refund for that. Open the jack seven suited. We get three bet. Pretty large. Big one of nine. We'll just folds. So we need to spin the stack up. $70 locked up. It's 2.1k for the win. Which is all right. And let's take a look here. The lobby. Because we have five tables on the go. See first, is there any State Kings tournaments I haven't got yet? Got the 530 bounty going here. Big 109 is going there. High Roller Club is refunded. Bounty 215, we busted. Okay. And the Winter Series, we busted too. Oh, the Winter Series hypers are starting right now, aren't they? Yeah, I'm going to get the 55 hyper to start. And then the $5 hyper, the low version, we're going to have to get in a second as well whenever we have space. But hypers take a lot of attention and focus because they're fast, right? Gonna open the 7-8 suited. Um, small blind, very short. We'll get it in with them if they decide to shove. But they fold, which is cool. Hypers have big antes. The blinds go up quickly, so we're going to want to get into that $5 quickly if we can. Good call here. We have almost no backup equity. I'm going to check back. We hit an 8, which is a decent bluff catcher now. Let's check, check. We probably have the best hand. I'm actually going to value bet here. No action, though. And we fold as well with 7-8 suited. Under 10 big blinds. Got to wait for our shove spot. Let's 
Keep it firing, dude. Thank you guys for being here on uh, Christmas Eve. Checks around three on the turn. Check again here. Checks around again. Nine on the river. Maybe we have the best hand. We'll see. Nope. Flush is good. Flush is good. All right. Ace 10 for 10 big blinds. This is our potential spin up, guys. This could be the one. We'll see. I, I stood on the top, but I thought it was a floor, so I'm able to ride. Oh my gosh. Keep it together, big car. Okay, folds all the way around to the big blind. This is good news. The mo most likely position to get called is later. You know, the big blind, right? Jamie, best tip for pub poker from Minimum Wade. I like the name, Minimum Wade. Um, so I think the biggest mistake that most uh, amateur players make when they're first starting playing live is that it's slow, especially pub poker, you know, it's self-dealt, like you gotta shuffle and stuff. You're not getting very many hands an hour. So you should probably be playing way tighter than what it feels right to do. People are gonna be playing too many hands because, you know, they're at a pub, they wanna play hands, they wanna play poker, like they're there to have fun. You're there to have fun. But if you wanna win, um, playing a lot tighter and getting rid of some of the weaker hands is the right move. So just play a little bit tighter. You're, oh, yikes. Uh, we can re-enter, and we will do, because it's very early. Um, some of your opponents in the pub might rib you for being too tight, but uh, don't listen to them. You know, play it off, and you'll win more. Hope that helps. What's the slowest day of the year, New Year's Day? I really don't know, to be honest. Don't know. Raise up King-10 suited. I would guess New Year's Eve is a little bit slower than New Year's Day. That's just my guess. Check, check, I think is good. Three of clubs on the turn. And here in the 530 bounty, we're going to raise up with the ace three against the small blind limp. Limp calls. We have a queen, queen, five flop. Go for a small bet on the flop. Back to the hyper. Let's bet turn now. Two hands on the go. 5.30, we bet, get called. Three on the turn, check, check. And we have a good bluff catcher now that we have a pair. What's up, running up 6-6? Six, six. How you doing, man? Happy holidays. Check it down. Beat ace nine. Good stuff. 25-6, lucky turn for us to give us the lead in that pot. To 20 entrants now in the tournaments. It has a 25k guarantee. Small guarantee again because, you know, of the day. So it needs, what is that? It needs 50 players to reach that guarantee, right? Yeah, I'll get in the 550 hyper as soon as I lose a different table, dude. Don't really want to up it to seven tables right now with two hypers. We're going to check in the daily marathon with king nine. Go to a flop. 62 of 138. It pays 71. Registration open for another seven minutes on the marathon. So bet into four people. I think fold second pair. Into four people, it's quite difficult to uh, continue on most turns that aren't a king or a nine. It's very unlikely we're, uh, we're, we have the best hand right now, except against a few like really strong draws. But queen 10 and 10 8 might not even lead here, right? So what strong draws exactly? We would have seen a beautiful king turn. Jamie, yes. What are we going to do with the Facebook competition? Because that's on the day we're tied, wasn't it? 
Uh, that's a good question. So we'll we'll write a status and be like, hey, everyone, sorry for this, but the Daily 500 was canceled because it's New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve. So unfortunately, we have to delay it again. When's the next time I'm playing it? Let me check. Because I'm, I'm playing it again this week, so we'll just push it to the next time I'm playing it. But let me see what day that is. Uh, we got sub hype. Brotato, dropping the three months. One of the best names. Brotato, thank you, dude. Appreciate the support very much. Welcome back to the team. Merry Christmas Eve, my friend. Burko, thanks for the kind words as well. Uh, okay, let's look this up. Three bet the A7 suited. Well, the Bounty 530 is going on today. That's the, um, Instagram yeah. com competition. Uh, there isn't another 530, no. Uh, unless I play the one really late, like the Supersonic. But uh, the thing is also those field sizes are going to be different, which changes people's guesses. So let me just see. <coughs> With the long here is fine. So we are playing it on the 28th on Friday. On Friday. Yeah. So we can still make like more competitions in between. Oh, I could just do them on Instagram. So. Yeah, that's true. Go to the Jacks here. We're going to raise it up. So yeah, we'll push it to that. By the way, Jeff just released a, a giveaway for the 25K PSPC. I think we should do one as well. You give away 1%. I think we should do that as well. He used Gleam. Have you ever heard of Gleam? No. Gleam. G-L-E-A-M. It's really good. I think we should probably do one just like him. But we'll talk about that at another time. It's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. Easy call of the shove here, especially with the $10 bounty overlay. King, queen, kings, king, nine. Oh, man, the kings. It's going to scope us. Busterino Cappuccino. Uh, Re-enter 100 to 200. I don't like it. 25 bigs. All right, let's get the five hyper now. The Winter Series event. 550 hyper in action. Put it in the blue. Up to the ace jack here. Um, I'm going to call 1750. Noticed in your last YouTube video that you might have some back pain, mate. I think I'm okay. Don't feel particularly back pain. Like, I have a little bit of uh, tightness from stress and stuff like that, but I don't feel too bad. Sue me. Jamie, bought some stuff from Rented Up Store about a month ago. A note delivered to the doors today. Say it could be delivered because I need to pay 24 import and handling fees on top of the delivery I paid. Is it normal to be charged that much? No, to pay this money and then I can collect from my local depot. I'm from the UK. I'm sort of unsure how their shipping and stuff like that works. I love Fintan. It's really refreshing that you have to do that. I don't know. Like, it's probably different for every country, right, Rebecca? Like, shipping and stuff? Uh, different for every country. Yeah. Because, like, this, from the Run It Up store, a guy has to pay 21 pound to collect it from the thing here in the UK. If you order over $75 worth, you get free shipping, I think. If you order over 75 it's free shipping. Well, it doesn't really help now. I don't want to rub it in the guys. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I love Fintan. I don't know about uh, how all that works with them, like the shipping and all that stuff, because they completely set it up. But I should know better just so that I can tell you guys if anyone decides to buy some of my stuff. Um, if you were trying to buy my stuff and you weren't aware of it, I love Fintan, reach out to me on social media and I'll cover that uh, fee for you, dude, if you're trying to do it. But like, if you're buying someone else's or whatever, then... We'll just call it a wash, but uh, sorry about that, man. So just reach out to me on social media somehow, and uh, and I'll cover that for you as a Christmas gift. Ace Jack in the big 44. We have $70 locked up, but we need to spin it against Ace 9. Really good news. God, they make a flush. Not running so hot, guys. GG in the big 44. We got a cash on the board at least, but disappointing for sure. 
So this Winter Series 6 high needs 200 players. It's got 100 players with 30 minutes left in late reg. It's 500 hyper. It's going to be close, I think. King eight of diamonds are going to shove. Minimum Wade, drop the sub as well. Minimum Wade, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Welcome to the team. Get some hearts out in the chat for that sub to the channel. Oh, no, King eight lost ace five. Okay, thank you, man. All right. Um... Bounty 109 in 15 minutes. That'll be a good tournament. Let's see as well. Fold the 10-3 and the 530 bounty. Okay, so we just had the 109 bounty as the last tournament on Stake Kings. But, uh, yeah. So I'll probably fire that one. When do you announce the Thirst Lounge winner? It's a process, dude. Things are a little bit slow right now with the holidays. So Jeff and I are reaching out to the, uh, the finalists and sort of having conversations with them and stuff. And we'll go from there. But we want to get a sense of what uh, people are able to do, basically. Like, it, it's very open-ended, this, this competition, right? It's like... Um, there's a lot of potential for ways it can go. Actually, I'm going to play this aggressively here and raise it up. Gleam.io, you get awarded tickets for doing things like sub into the socials. Yeah, Gleam.io, that's the one. It's just good, right? Because it lets everyone know about all the places you're putting out content, so it really helps. <laughs> and I think with a 1% giveaway to the 25k with four million dollars for first like this would be some good incentive so we'll probably set up a gleam giveaway at some point here make sure we're good to go with Jeff on that let's uh let's send Jeff a little voice message here Hola, Jeffrey Gross. I am live on Twitch right now, and I just wanted to, first of all, wish you and Amelia and family and friends a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, dude. I uh, hope you're crushing it, loving life. But second, I see that you're doing a giveaway on social media. I'm promoting this to the stream right now, you guys. Jeff is giving away 1% of his PSPC 25K, so make sure you go check that out on Twitter. We kind of want to do the same thing. So I want to steal your idea, but also kind of just double the hype. Will you disown me as a friend if I do that as well? That's my question. Happy holidays. Talk to you soon. Uh, it's not the shipping cost. It's the customs import cost you have to pay that on a lot of stuff in the UK. Ah, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, good to know. So we have five tables. We have that 109 bounty kicking off soon. Where'd the lobby go? Give me the lobby. There it is. Starts in 10 minutes. I'm going to pre-reg that. Wait, maybe I should not pre-reg it. Maybe I should... 
fire something else first. Check here. The king nine. Not the best flop for us. Jack said suited, we call on the big blind and miss this flop as well. I mean, it's close. We have some backdoors and stuff, but. Lost Twitter promotion ticket $55 by 21 seconds. What bad luck. Ah, yeah, dude. Easy peasy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. Likewise, thank you uh, for giving me your time, you know? Both ways. Thanks, man. Happy holidays. So, sixes are pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> Gonna limp. We're too deep to, like, be making pre-flop moves here. Our opponent's very aggressive, though, so, like, it's very tempting. Sixes play really poorly post-flop, but we also have just too much to risk to get it in pre. Actually, with them being so aggressive, we should probably play this passively and start with a check. On the 4-4-8. Four, four, of course, if they have a 4 or an 8, we're beat, so... Control the size of the pot and also allow them to bluff some. The only bad news with playing it this way is there's a lot of bad cards. A lot. Against someone that's so aggressive, I think check call is the right move. Check call again. Beautiful river. Diamonds miss. All the straight draws miss. Spades miss. And they're probably not going to bet an 8 here. So we're going to be looking at a 4, a queen, or a bluff. And there's a lot of bluffs. An 8. Okay. They say, they say, chop it up down here in the smaller version. Lose a few chips here. Check with the queen 3. It's poker luffy. All right. See what else we could fire here. Big multi-way pot. We cover a few people in the pot as well. Our hand's pretty trashy, but being so multi-way, I'm going to get involved and just try and flop something big. Thirty-three hyper a bit late. All right, I'm going to get this little seven fifty progressive KO first. Oh, it's the three minutes. That's why it hasn't popped up yet. <laughs> Never mind. We're going to get the hot 11 going as our sixth table for now. And raise it the king 10. Thanks for the clean explanation of pub poker. I definitely agree. Definitely worth a sub. Cheers, man. Thank you. Look good still, man. What are you down to, man? Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, I'm not at my lowest for sure. Definitely above that, but uh, doing well, man. I don't know exactly. Don't have a number for you. On the ground. Rompless. Jamie, I'm a huge fan, but I have constructive criticism to tell you, okay? Long time I've been watching YouTube videos, those quick mid-video messages are really annoying. I suggest you do it at the beginning and the end of the video, not at the climax moment. In my opinion, it makes people lose interest in playing, just gets them mad at you for ruining the moment. People doesn't seem to care for those. Thanks for joining my thing, beside the ones that are being thanked. I don't. Okay, man, I hear you. We could try and move the placement. Here's the thing, though. With YouTube, right, it's like the cost is somewhere between 4K and 6K a month to run both channels, right? Uh, what do I get back from ad revenue? About $1,000 currently. So it's like we're losing a lot, uh, and to make the YouTube videos and channel sustainable to do it over the next several years, we need to increase revenue. And a, people subscribing on YouTube that are YouTube watchers is a way to do that. So, like, we need to increase revenue, but we could move the, uh, the video to different spots that aren't as annoying. Um, like, not right before peak moments or something like that. So I'll take a look at where that is, but at the same time, People, I think, are going to have to put up with some level of advertising because it's just not sustainable with YouTube ad revenue for, for poker. Um, you know, it's just like you have to pay for, for two editors and camera costs and then travel costs as well. 
the vlog channel and stuff, you know? Of course, a lot of that makes people aware of the stream and like there's all sorts of things that sort of tie into this. This is a shove in a hyper turbo with the big antis. But uh, yeah. Take it down. So uh, I'll look I'll look into that, how I can improve it. But like ads, if anything, on the YouTube channel are going to have to increase to allow me to continue making videos. Uh, Ace four offsuit. We're gonna fold. When will the brandy and eggnog begin? Don't have any brandy or eggnog. Uh, there's probably gonna be a glass of wine consumed at some point tonight. That's about it, though. What are you doing later, B car? What, what? what should we do? What should we do later? Watch a Christmas movie? I don't know. I'm on board for that. You might get some Christmas specials on the TV. Oh, yeah. Definitely some Christmas specials. <laughs> Something like that. Get cozy, you know? Get the candle lit. Get the candle going. All that. I'm not really sure. I, I have it in my head that you win in one of these tournaments. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. The 530 bounty would be ideal. But uh, the last tournament I sold action for starts in four minutes. So, like, I have my set of deep stacks, and we'll play turbos from there out, probably. Should a person's VPIP be a little higher in hyper turbos, it should be about the same as usual. So, they should play more hands in hypers, but the reason is not because the blinds increase faster. The reason is because the antis are bigger. So, like a normal anti here, 1,200 big blind, there's 1,100 in the middle. If this was a hyper turbo, there'd be like 15 or 1600 in the middle. So like that adds up and, and you need to make more aggressive moves raising and then people re-raise more frequently and you can call more three bets and you can four bet wider and all that. Like all the ranges just get a bit wider. So um, that's why you should increase what you play just a little bit. Raising a three bit to ten K, we're gonna fold. <coughs> uh limp here for twelve hundred. I am going to shove over this limp. Very limpy opponents. Now, of course, sometimes they can just limp better hands than A6, but most of the time, we've seen they've limped about three quarters of the hand they're playing, so got to play more. Um, King Queen. It's a bit awkward. And they're playing quite tight, actually. In terms of raising, they're limping almost every hand, but they raise a normal amount of hands. I'm going to fold. Start streaming on YouTube as well. I uh, don't think I can. Don't think I'm allowed, actually. I'm exclusively live stream on Twitch. Someone needs to win the jackpot. Yeah, can I win the jackpot? <laughs> M 
M Stocks. Merry Christmas, Jamie. Just watch your vlog. Keep up the good work for 2019. Good luck, good luck. Thank you, M Stocks. Appreciate it, man. I'm very excited about the next year. So excited, dude. It's going to be awesome. I think you can't get higher revenue because your videos don't have changes to it from Cross. Well, it's an interesting one, right? It's like, uh, I'm going to limp here with the Queen 8 and the small blind. And Ace 9 4 flop. Okay. Take a little stab here. See what develops on the turn. Gonna call eight on the turn. Just shut down now. Or six on the turn, not an eight. We have an eight. We have an eight on the river. We might have the best hand. Spades get there though, which is kind of fortunate. Um, it's a tough one here because I think a nine can bet. No, probably not. Maybe. An ace can definitely bet. Spades obviously are gonna bet. A few straight combos, but it checks down and we win against. A four, which was probably thinking about should I turn my hand into a bluff. Big one on nine. Our hand isn't great, but we're very short here, so we can defend. And we flop middle pair. It depends on these opponents. They bet half pot knowing we can get it in. I don't think we can shove here. Definitely not now. That's a very strong move to bet half pot into two opponents and one being very short. So with the YouTube and stuff, it's like, there's, there's different ways of making YouTube doable. The one way is like views, you know? So think of the biggest YouTubers that sustain themselves off ad revenue because they have a wide reach, you know? Their videos are interested, interesting to a huge amount of people. Um, like that's one way, you know? The thing with poker is it's like a niche topic. There's still a lot of people that want to watch poker, but it's a niche topic. So depending on ad revenue is not going to be the right strategy. But of course, like you have a lot of attention so you can you can have affiliate deals with relevant um, relevant services that make it profitable, you know? So, like, if I made more ads for Raise Your Edge in my YouTube videos and people bought, you know, 50 courses a month or something like that, well, then I'd be profitable. So, it just, there has to be more of that kind of stuff because um, unless something changes, we're going to call this off, obviously. And... Um, unless something changes, like poker will continue to be niche, you know? And there just isn't like 4 million people that are interested in watching poker videos every day. So, it is what it is, right? Brando Baggins, Brando in the house. Speaking of uh, YouTube, let's go back to the shops. Got some fire presents coming your way. Got to wrap those suckers now. Let's ship attorney today. All right, man. Let's ship attorney. Sixes we're going to shove. Get a reshove here. Sevens, ace, queen. Right, round. Okay. Winter series are dead. Cheers, Big Mike. Cheers, man. Thank you. What was I miss? Just change the timing, make it better. Yeah, I'll work on that. Um, M stocks got that. All right, threes. We're gonna shove this in the daily marathon. Twenty-two off the money, but we definitely uh, need to shove the pairs for eleven big blinds. It's not close enough. Twenty-two big blinds in this tournament, or twenty-two away from the money is um several orbits deep slow tournament. This is the bad news though. Shove, reshove, reshove. Threes, ace, queen, aces. Aces. Take it down. We are going to bust the marathon. Get that 109 bounty going. There we go. And 750 progressive KO hyper turbo. Couple bounties. And a little 1650 turbo. Nice. It's a nice turnies to fill the screen. Doing dabs. Cheers, man. Thank you. Uh, 
Well, I wish there was more winter series today. There's the phase winter series, but I'm going to be in the Bahamas. I don't know if I can play the phase two. Just don't know what my schedule is going to be, you know? We will call with queen five suited, though. Take it to the streets and flop middle pair, which is a bit awkward. Check on the turn. Hey, bet. Now I think we have a call. You know, check, check, check on the flop. Check, bet. I think we're okay. Six of hearts is not great. Because that's one of the most obvious things I can bet, right? Like, the straight draws, like 9-7, 7-6, seven, 6-4 seven, six, six, um, type things. Those made pairs or straights. And then the heart draws as well, which just made something. We see a small bet of 635, which is very interesting. Because you'd expect a bigger bet with most things. You'd expect bigger bet with flushes, with trips. Although trips maybe could be worried about that sort of stuff. It's just a very suspicious bet size because... Didn't I have 15 seconds on my clock there? Did I not have 15 seconds on my clock there, guys? That's super weird. Anyways, up to the A6 in the High Roller Club. The call closing the action with the suited ace. Look at this bounty on her right, man. Come on. We're not going to get it here, but it's legit. They bet into four people. Give them credit here. Haven't heard about any sale for Raise Your Edge, dude. They did one for, uh, like, Black Friday, didn't they? Or something like that. But I don't know of uh, any beyond that. I haven't heard. You never know. All right, weird turn. We have middle two pair, but any jack, any six has a straight. Any 10x two pair sets, all that. Not enough bluffs here at all. Not nearly enough. We have a shove with ace nine, eight and a half bigs. Kobe's Jack, fair play. Unfortunate, though. Oh, they're all in. Never mind. Okay. Didn't lose that much. Basically break even. Lost 124 chips. Didn't see how much they called for. H.O. Bogdanov. This is a 14 big blind stack with a $125 cash bounty. This is the sweat, man. This is it. Let it pop into the stream and wish you and Rebecca a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jay-Z Bun. Merry Christmas to you as well, man. Merry Christmas. Um, so a bit awkward here. Very awkward, actually. <laughs> They call in the big blind. Um, if we check back, we give free cards to a lot of things we don't want to give free cards to. But then also on the ace-high flop, it's like, man, we're drawing pretty stone dead against the ace. All right, we got, we got a Jeff Gross message here. No. 
of course. Come on, brother. It's not only would I not do that, I would encourage it, promote it, and I will promote yours. The more giving, you know, abundance. That's everyone wins. I love that. Say hi to the stream. Say hi to everyone. And also, I'm giving away 2% on Twitter as well. So I got a little 3% ball going. Oof. We got to do a little swap. I think we'll probably go 1 2, at least double final table. And, uh, yeah, yeah, at least. You know, just everyone wins. That's that's the style. That's that's the poker staples flow show mentality. Give, <laughs> we go, we flow, we show, we know. Although, I gotta go. <laughs> Ciao. Oh man, the Jeff G, one of the best on earth. I mean, he's great. Uh, JG Reggie dropping a raid with forty nine people. Or is it G? Yeah, it's GJ. I always mix that. GJ Reggie, thank you so much. Welcome everyone tuning in from GJ Rennie's ch channel. Reggie, oh, this is a tongue twister. You would think I have had wine, but no, not yet. GJ Reggie, thank you. Welcome everyone tuning in. We're playing a little bit of Christmas Eve poker tonight. Appreciate the sport very much. Poker Bros, good luck. Thank you, yo. Thanks, Poker Bros. King Jack A7 fives, come on, hit me with that queen ball. There it is. The queen ball on the turn for the scoop. It's not a huge pot or anything, but we're getting back a bit. Go to the uh, 530 bounty, open Jack 10 offsuit. Call here, call here. What a weird spot with 876, two clubs. We have the gutter. We don't have the back to flush draws either. All right, I'm going to go for a C-bet. And if we're going to C-bet, we want to make it on the bigger side here. Because there's just a lot of potential draws in this spot, right? So we'll bet. Hope for like nine of uh, hearts in the turn. Ten. Okay. We have a pair, but a nine makes a straight. And we have, you know, if they have a straight, we have 6% to beat that. Check, check again here. Nice, we win with our 10. That's good news. Up to 30K in the 530 bounty. King 10 offsuit. Meh. Down to King Jack suited in the hyper. Um, yes, in the Queen 5, you had 15 seconds of the time bank, but it was grayed out. I clipped it. You can check it. How can I see what you clipped? Clips. Uh, I can't see it. It's very weird. When the deal at all I hear it's plus EV when the jackpot's over 275k. That's what I heard as well. I unfortunately have no stars coins. So I've been playing it as much as I can, but can't play it at all right now and i'd like a share of it you know <coughs> win anything yesterday we won some money but we didn't win any tournaments uh you can check out run it up stats always to see our final results exclamation mark stats but uh deep run in cash warm-up cash milli cash winter series 109 bounty deep run in the bigger 55 and uh deep run in the mini supersonic this is just a shove not a call um, so many deep runs, but we fell just short in like all of them. So, and only won a hundred bucks. So it was that kind of day, dude. No aces, Jack. Ah, oh. gross, gross, gross news. King Jack suited. Call, call. Gets to the big blind and they squeeze. I think we just re-squeeze. The King Jack suited for that bounty, you know. But they call. It's a King three three flop. Check. Control the size of the pot is fine. We want them to get money in. So we don't really want to, like, bet, and then they have to call, and then, like, their range has to be stronger. Might as well check. Give them a chance to hit, like, a pair as well would be nice. Come on, Acho. Get it in there, dude. All right, so we're going to check here. We uh, we chop with worse kings than us. Lose to king-queen, lose to any three, lose to ace-king. We chop with this now because of that queen. 
So, unfortunate, but we win a few chips. Oh, we have kings now in the big blind with a short stack in the small blind. Come on, man. This is a sick opportunity. Adrov's got to open, like, pretty much everything here with this bounty. Do it, Acho. Do it. Yes! So we're obviously just going to call here to get Adrov involved in the pot. That's fine. Perhaps they back raise. We just want a huge pot in the big 109 as well, up to 7.6k. And uh, I think lead here now. We can get a we can get value from a lot of things, given how many draws are on this board texture. Like if Adrov has a queen, never folding. Adrov has a jack, never folding. Adrov has most tens, never folding. We also blocked the nuts with King Jack. That's sweet. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, that's so annoying. Can I run good in a bounty, please? Please, in a high roller club, let me run good. Ah! On New Year's, Christmas Eve. Oh, man. All right. Well, the 10-8. Thank you, Balud, for the uh, Merry Christmas, man. Chat seems to be so much more positive these days than in the past. Yeah, it is better in general, but I also think it's like... It's Christmas Eve, you know, so it's pretty chill tonight and, like, nice. Everyone's happy. But I think, like, uh, in general, it's a lot better, too. Is it a good idea to make extra money alongside a full-time job playing poker? There's no right and wrong answer to that, you know? Like, let's say you make, theoretically, like, $40 an hour playing poker, and you make, like, $12 an hour working a job. Well, then it wouldn't make a lot of sense to devote time to something else. For me, it's always been, like... Poker is my passion, so spending time on things that isn't what I'm passionate about doing in life doesn't make a lot of sense, because um, it's not how I want to spend my time in life. So um, I've pretty much always just gone all in on on what I really want to be doing. But if it's a realistic like life situation where it's like, okay, well, I'm going to need money to obtain my goals, and I'm not confident enough yet that I can sustain the variance, then that's a very responsible and like smart decision. But for me, I think betting on your strengths and going all in on what it is you want to do and working as hard as you can at that is the right move. So you're going to have to answer that one yourself. Ace four. We don't have a mistletoe in the apartment, Balloon. B car's a little bit under the weather as well, so we... Uh we have to avoid each other. We have to avoid each other nowadays. Can't be getting ill. We got high rollers to play this week. And the PSPC 25K, man. Full of 7-9. So we have four tables in the go. 1650 Turbo, Hot 11, the 109 Bounty, and the Big 109. This is going to be our main sweat for now. 26 paid, 3200 for the win. That 530 Bounty loss is uh, very frustrating, obviously. The kings, to have the small blind have kings as well. And then also to just flop two pair. It's just all terrible news. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm frustrated, man. I am. I feel like we've been getting the short end of the stick quite a bit. I'm just excited for when we, we get uh, the right side, you know?
Mm. It's kind of a weird one here. It's probably close to a shove, honestly, but. Okay, great, Bluff. Thanks. Good to know, and I'll pass that feedback along as well. I'll pass that feedback along. Thank you, Great Bluff, for about the time bank info. Because I missed it a few times yesterday. I was just like, what's going on here? All right, take that down. Snowman Tony, friend of the stream. Rafa Lock Tree, a friend of the stream on our table here, and the big one on nine. And we see a shove under the gun for 6.2 big blinds. I was going to call with fives, but we get a call here from this opponent, which makes this uh, a fold nowadays. All right, flop for seven deuce. Waiting for someone to win the deal jackpot. Me too, dude. I don't think I'm going to get a chest, though, to to get any stars coins. It's too bad. All right, 10-4 suited. We'll call on the big. Whiff the flop. That's fine. Whiff it. Do you, yesterday I saw you had some deep runs. We're playing a highlight on break that shows you, but um, we made $123. Deep runs in the Sunday Million for cash, Sunday Warm Up, Winter Series 2, The Bounty, um, The Bigger 55, and The Mini Supersonic. But fell just short in all of them, dude. Can't shove here, I don't think, just to fold. Can't set mine either. We don't have enough chips. Do not have enough chips. Poker bras. Yeah, that's a good point, man. Get ill now so that I'm good to go for the PSPC 25K. Wimbot City. Merry Christmas, man. Good to see you in the house, Wimbot. Check here. Seven on the turn. All right. Two pair gonna raise I want to make sure I can get the money in by the river so I'm gonna raise now and I'm gonna shove there's a few things that beat us for what it's worth but a lot of things we win against Go to the Kings. Uh, 
Um, a lot of talk about bankroll management. I made a video on my vlog channel about this just a couple weeks ago that you guys might find useful. You want to check it out. It's a very individual question, you know, like there's a, a gettable answer for everyone, but you have to input a lot more than you'd think to find out the right bankroll management. Like it's different if you're a professional player than if you're like um, a brand new player to the game, for example. Or it's different if you have income as opposed to no job. Or if you have responsibilities in life like mortgages or dependents as opposed to like none. And your age and like all sorts of stuff. King's Ace Jack here. It's going to be the last hand before break. That's a flush. Okay. I was like, oh, we lost again, didn't we? Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Quick break. Stay with me. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. No, we need we need a Christmas playlist. Uh, this one I've heard too much, and I've only done a little bit of shopping. This is a pretty good uh, flop for Queen Ten of Hearts <laughs> in the big one on nine. Check shove upcoming. What I miss on break? He's telling us a Newcastle scarf, Jamie. Leeds and Tottenham, my friend. Sorry, Newcastle. Check shove for all the money. Okay, take it on. That's great. <laughs> Federer fan. Ah, yeah, dude. Unlucky on the 550. Ah, yeah. <coughs> this is a, a tune that we don't hear very much at all in North America. You know this one, Rebecca? Fairy Tale of New York? It's such a classic here. You hear it everywhere. Like in all the stores, it's like, it's got to be the most prolific Christmas song over here. It's one of the, yeah, it's, like, it's my favorite Christmas song. We don't hear it at all. Like I literally never heard it until last Christmas when we stopped off here before Prague. Wow. Which is not a thing, this, this song. By the way, Spotify, oh, what? It was doing this thing where it was snowing on my screen, but then I moused over it and it disappeared. All right, it, we can probably get it. One sec here. It'll start again. Get it ready. Okay. Make it 900. Oh! It started and I moused over and it disappeared again. Uh, Shove here. By first blind, they have 12 bigs to start the hand. We'll go for it. Okay, not exactly what we want to see, but we get there, so it's fine. And also, look at this. Terrible flop with the Kings. <laughs> look at this as if it's good news. It's doing it now. It's snowing on my Spotify. Look, I'll move my mouse over. Ah, disappears. What's up with that? Just keep it running, Spotify. I like that. King Jack has a playable hand. And up here we're 6 of 113. Pretty good spot. Bounty 109. Chillin' just started. And around 10k in the big 109. A limp and a shove. I don't think we can roll with it here. So we'll just fold. What are we going to do tomorrow night? Probably play some spins tomorrow night. Get some spinnerinos happening. Well, that, that, and that. 
33 of 95. It pays 31, so one-third of the way there. There's a house party mix playlist. R&B old school Christmas playlist. All sorts of Christmas playlists. Eight nine of diamonds over here in the 1650 turbo. It's a nice hand. See a limp, which is playable. Just need to avoid shoves from these two. Mary, Mary Jamie Eve. Mary Jamie Eve, Jacob. <laughs> Thanks, man. Just going to check. Let's hit a flop. That's hitting a flop. Good enough for me. Now, this opponent is pretty passive. So I like leading. Because we could probably get him to fold like a jack high or a queen high or king high, maybe even an ace high. Who knows? So let's just bluff. And of course, if things get out of control, we have a flush draw. We're good to go. Can't support two teams. I can do what I want. Ah! Listen, I, I'm not from this country. I don't have any geographical ties to any team. So I wanted uh, a Premier League team to support this year because uh, I just wanted to sweat the Premier League because it's fun getting into it but then also Leeds is around where I'm living Rebecca's dad supports Leeds so I was like I gotta support Leeds too you know so I'm supporting both that's it final answer I, I don't care I don't care how many people call me a tosser I am gonna support two teams just because I want to and I'm making my own rules that's it do what you want. I will be car thank you do what you want Eric Cartman, O oh Holy Knight. What is this? I'm not listening to South Park, O oh Holy Knight. I'm not doing it, dude. I'm not doing it. To be fair, I don't, I don't have anything against South Park, but I've never really watched South Park, so I don't really know the references. I'm out. Okay, next hand, eight jack suited. It's another playable hand, potentially. How have you never heard it before over here? Best Christmas song there is. It's just not played, at, like, at all. Around where I am, anyways. It's probably pay, played on the East Coast a bit, you know, with, like, Irish influence and stuff. But it's not played at all. Never heard of it. Until, uh, until last year when I came over... For EPT Prague, we came here, like beginning of December, and that was the first time I heard it. Fold. Playing the 25k PSPC, I am. Selling any action? Don't think so. I gave away 6% in my ultimate sweat, cranberries. Uh, and then I'll probably do uh, a contest for 1% or something. Uh, and then probably swap with a few people and stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to fire. Okay. Chop it up. Oh, B car is feeling better too, bro. How are you on a harsh scale, B car, right now? What's that? How are you on the harsh scale right now in terms of feeling? Um, Five is average, so it's got to be less than that, right? Yeah, so I'm doing a low rate. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say about three point five. Three point five. Getting there. Getting there, Dottie. This is annoying with fives, but I think it's a fold against Arch Gamble. Found a way of getting 12 months for a price of 10 on Spotify yesterday. Sick. Damn. How'd you do that, Ed? Calling the big line with the 8-7. Sort of connected enough to do something. Flop a bad gutter, but it's they min bet. I'm gonna treat it like a check. 
Call. Five on the turn doesn't help anything. Let's check. Okay. Do you look at back at the start of all this and just smile? Good job, brother, from Easy Peasy. Like the start of, like, streaming and poker and all that? Yeah, it's just wild, man. I mean, it's often, like, once a week or so I have that pinch myself moment. Because, like, you you know, you think growing up, I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this. It's like, you know, you see those people that uh, are living a life and it's just, like, so foreign and unapproachable, right? So, for me, when I was a young person, that was, like, a professional golfer, you know? Like, I always wanted to be a professional golfer, but, like, inside, did I truly feel as if I had what it took to be one? No, like... It's so insane, dude. It's so crazy. So I, I never, like, truly believed that I could get to that, right? And then with poker, it's like I've kind of I got to that moment. And it's just like, it's just so surprising that this is my life, you know? It's like I have to pinch myself to realize, like, oh, wow. Like, you're actually doing it, you know? So, uh... And then streaming and all that stuff too. I mean, you could say the same thing about streaming and that it's hard to to make it as a full-time content creator and we've we managed that too. It's just, I'm so thankful and grateful and just like, I can't believe it actually happened, you know? Some, some pieces had to be in the right place at the right time to make it happen. <coughs> you know, I, I was in the right place at the right time, but then I, if I can be a bit big headed. I did like crush it for a long time too. Like I worked super hard. Open to close every day to like give myself the opportunity to do it. Why didn't you go with Manchester United? Everyone knows it's the best football team in the world, Kappa. There's a lot of factors that went into my decision for which Premier League team to pick. One was geography. And I think London is probably the most likely city I'd end up staying in for a long period of time. Of places I've been so far, it's like practical, but also a really great place. We're going to we're gonna live there for about two months after PSPC. Um, so having a London-based team would be good. And then also I didn't really want to pick a cliche team for a foreigner. I didn't just want to hop in and like pick the top team. Just be like, oh, this is my team now. They're winning the uh, Premier League, you know. I didn't want a bandwagon hop like that. I wanted something slightly unique. The teams that we know in North America from English football is um, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United, and Liverpool. That's it. I'd never heard of Tottenham until like, I don't know, six months ago. Never heard of Tottenham Hotspurs until the summer, the World Cup. Um, never heard of uh, Man City either. No clue. Didn't know it existed. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to just pick a cliche team that all the North Americans would know, you know? I wanted to pick something slightly unique. Thanks, B Car. Right. Nice. And then also, another factor into choosing a Premier League team. I mean, the. The Leeds was a shoe in Rebecca's dad likes Leeds. We're living near Leeds. Like, that was that was an auto. But I felt I wanted to pick a Premier League team. And then also a part of it was, like, what kind of culture do they have? What sort of fans do they have? And uh, when I asked a lot of people, like, Spraggy and, and Lex, about uh, about some of these teams, when I asked them about Tottenham, they're like, yeah, it's okay. Like, a lot of people seem to respect Tottenham. Um Harry Kane was a guy that I sweat all summer in the World Cup. Really liked him. So they just seemed like a good, honest, earnest team that was a, a unique pick, good ge geographically for where I, where I may end up in life to go see games or matches, contests. I don't know what you'd call it here. So, um, so I went with it, dude. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Who just dropped? Yes. Yes, I'll sign it as well. Right, I've written a mail for and I've written 
<laughs> or or you can just sign it both. No, you just do it. Your writing is mine's terrible. It'll embarrass us, please. Um, Bren six eight six drop of the sub. Let's get some love of the chat for Bren. Thank you. Appreciate that very much. Welcome to the team. Appreciate your support on this Christmas Eve. Switch over to the NFL and support the Colts. So my NFL team is the Patriots um, because they were winning when I was in, like, grade four. So I was just like, you know, obviously when you're that young, you just pick whatever team's winning unless you live near one of them. Um, so it was the Patriots. And uh, But I have to be honest, dude. Like, And Canadian football as well, which is slightly different, three downs, slightly bigger ball, slightly longer field. <coughs> um. I'm just not a huge fan of uh, Canadian or American football. I find it a little bit choppy and slow. Like, it's hard to get into a rhythm, you know? I've watched a lot of it. Like, watched pretty much every Super Bowl for 15 years or whatever. And, uh, and like, some other games randomly. But I, it's just, I don't know, man. I've never gotten into it. There's not, like, a massive American football or Canadian football um, culture where I'm from, it's not like everyone's sweating it. That would probably help if there was one. This is going to be a four-bit all-in. Um, uh, oh. Uh, oh. All right. Run good with the 10s. Take it. So, um, yeah. I don't know. It's definitely not my favorite sport to watch. Like, it might be my least favorite sport to watch. I'm just being honest. I'm not trying to fire any shots here. It's just, uh, it's just so choppy. Like the four downs, the like six seconds of action, and then the whole uh, huddle analysis. You know, third down in the second quarter brought to you by Allstate. You know, like the the corporatization, like all of it. I just, I don't know. Not my favorite in terms of. Uh, Sports I used to watch at home. Like, I really like hockey. Hockey's great to watch. It's fast paced, fun. Um, golf, I was always a big fan of. You know, you have so many different storylines happening all the time, like all these different rounds, different holes, scenery, all that. Uh, so I really like watching that. Olympics, love watching the Olympics. King Ten of Clubs, um, call on the button here. Oh, see a nice flop. I shove. Nice flop. But it checks to us. We just bet. We have so much equity here. We can, you know, if they check call, we still shove turn. What if there's a match between Leeds and Tottenham? See that? I don't have an answer for yet. I don't know. I don't know the answer yet. Nikki Star is still thinking on this one. Okay, 56%, pretty good. 8, 10, king, club. Nope. And ja Jax to ace-9 lost as well in the hot 11. What's going on, man? We're out of the big one of nine. We got three tournaments left, but a really nice stack here once we sucked out the tens versus kings. Or aces, excuse me. This is on the ropes. Um, Yeah, so my, my sports teams... Would be um, Raptors for NBA, Blue Jays for MLB, Patriots for American football. Um, I don't know. I guess Calgary St. Peters for Canadian football. For hockey, I support three teams in the following order. Montreal, uh, Detroit, Calgary. Um, and then football... Tottenham in the Premier League, um, and and uh, Leeds in the Champions League, and in international football, I would say England first, which is new, uh, Italy second, Croatia third, and for golf, I don't have like a any one particular person. Don't watch rugby or cricket, or uh, F1, I, I would like to watch more, but I really don't know anything, so I don't know 
like which uh, team or driver or anything I'm supporting. I don't know. But I went to an F1 race in Montreal. That was awesome. <coughs> Sorry, but you're not a pro player. You're an entertainer. Egyptian wizardry. It's not your decision to decide what I am. Thank you. Okay. Pack it in, mate. Um, so, I mean, what am I? Well, it's going to come down to semantics of how you personally define it. And I feel like you're the type of person that's going to define it pessimistically. So, you do your thing. Um, but I haven't had a job since I was 18 or 19. The last job I had was at Montana's as a server. And before that, it was at the golf course. But... Uh, I haven't made any money except for poker pursuits since, uh, what was that, 2008? 2008? So, I mean, you can say whatever you want, dude, but, like, you know, I'm out here. <laughs> Living full-time, playing poker. Um, and I did for a long time before streaming. Like, it was my only source of income for five years before I even put on a camera or made any content about poker. Like, had never made a video, never made a stream for five years. It was my only job and only income. Um, and now, obviously, it's like I figured out ways where I can diversify what I do and make a more substantial income and a more secure income and, and contribute to the game that I'm deciding to dedicate my life to as opposed to just kind of uh, suck money out of it, contribute to it and grow it. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can define it a lot of ways, but I find it very pessimistic if, if you, if you would, uh, throw me out of the, uh, professional realm, but hey, you do you, I guess, uh, raising a three bit all in, we're going to fold. Do you think you're gifted or do you think you have discipline? Mm. Uh, I think I'm normal, so I don't think I'm particularly gifted or particularly not gifted. I think I'd, I'd be neutral, average. Um, I'm very lucky in that I have a personality that is uh, naturally self-motivating when it comes to work. Okay. Are you in a tent? Why does everyone say am I in a tent? I don't get it. I guess because of that shade or something. <laughs> Bcar support any teams? Who would you support, Bcar, other than Leeds? Liverpool. Liverpool. The King Nine. Please help me. I don't know, but I'm thinking that your streamer poker stars give you luck to game. <laughs> Someone help them. <laughs> Someone help me, but I think. <laughs> Come on, man. What you on about? Does that make any sense at all? How would that make any sense, dude? How would that make any sense? A company as big as that, which is a regulated gaming company, has to pack, pass stringent tests to ensure that their games are fair for consumers. Why would they risk it all so that one tiny little streamer could have increased luck? That doesn't make any sense, dude. None. Zero percent. Queen six suited, we're gonna check here. And then here with the eight nine suited, we're gonna play. I'm gonna call. I don't want to three bet and get four bet and have to fold. That's annoying, right? Especially covering for a bounty. Favorite country in the Winter Olympics? Canada. Canada for sure.
but the eight nine suited. Here's the thing with sports, though. Rebecca and I were talking about this the other day, which is like, sports are great, but it's kind of hard when you're traveling. In that, in some countries, you don't get sports news, and some you do, and you're busy. You know, you're streaming, you're doing stuff, right? And and a lot of these rentals and Airbnbs, you get a tiny little TV that's not really usable. You know, it's like a thirty two inch TV far away from an uncomfortable couch that was bought for like you know 150 quid to make it look good on a listing right like the livability is not great so you don't have a lot of great spots to watch sports you know if you if you had a home that was your home and like you had a nice place to lounge out and get comfy and you have your blanket and your pillows and your tv and all that then it's it's easier so the dream the long-term dream as we brick somehow no dude for a bounty as well come on it's a bad bluff card too Really bad. Cuts down on the combos that we can have that aren't bluffs. So just got to check that ace jack. Really wish they would have checked shove flop so we could rumble for it all. But now we're down to 3,300. The dream is like having a having a TV slash chill room, you know? We have nice couches. But then also you get all your teams and you get the schedule. And you make like a calendar, which you put in a in a binder or something. I don't know. Or in a book. I don't care. You put it by the couch so you can see, like, oh, this week, like, here's my teams. They're doing what? And, like, here's the channel they're on. So you can, like, have a schedule of the of the sports you care about. I don't know. I always thought that would be really cool. Maybe it's, like, ridiculous that you want to schedule your sporting like that. But I just think it would be awesome to open up a book and be like, this week, you know, the Jays are playing twice. Tottenham's playing here. Leeds is playing here. Blah, 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 blah. And here's where you can watch it. It's like, oh, damn. That would be awesome. Leads in Championship League, I mean uh, Champions, or the Championship Division, sorry. King 9, not great, 6 of 97 here. Little Michael Bublé action. This was always my mom's favorite around Christmas. Michael Bublé. So smooth. Big fan of the Michael Bublé. Fold the jack three. Any Argentine playing for Leeds? Man, don't ask me players. I'm a new fan here. Uh, Polish, British, Macedonian, Scottish, Jamaican, Spanish, Welsh, Swedish, Finnish, English, Northern Irish, Swiss, and Irish. Yeah, that's what we got. How about Tottenham? American, Australian, Nigerian, Spanish, Austrian, Italian, Latvian. That can't be right. Oh, because it's looking up Antonio Spurs or San Antonio Spurs. Whoops. British, Danish, Portuguese, English, Brazilian, Belgian, French, Argentine. Uh, Paulo Gazanaga from Argentine, Argentina on Tottenham. Ivorian, South Korean, Spanish, and Colombian. Kenyan, Dutch, Cameroonian. All right, there you go. Quick facts for you. Quick facts. So they complete. I don't really know much about this. The thing that's really annoying here is that like when they limp so short, I assume they're limp calling and they have a decent hand. Some people are just going to have queen jack suited here. 
And then some people are going to have like always stronger hands than us. We really don't know. I'm not at all worried about this. There's 1,900 in the middle. All right, I'm going to go for the shove. I don't love it, but like the fact that basically there's half their stack in the middle, I think we got to gamble for it here. We take it down, which is great. Another limp. All right, I'll complete for 300 given... Like, what's going on in this tournament, by the way? Just a quick second. What's happening here? Now you download the schedule onto your phone. See, this is the dream we're talking about. Is there an app for your phone where you can schedule... All the teams you support in all the leagues, or is it like one app for each team? That'd be my only worry. We're going to call here because it's so cheap, you know? There's three behind we have to worry about, but still, I think it's worth calling. Because here's what I would like, right? Here's what I want, and you guys can tell me if this is a thing, because I haven't really had a TV like this for a long time, or like cable packages. So let's say, like, in a given week, there's N... Um, NBA, there's basketball, baseball, and soccer on, right? Or football. Sorry, football. Um, so there's three different leagues going on, and my team is playing like two times in each league. So there's six games going on. Is there an app that you can get all of the games for all those leagues? If you can do that, that's legendary. It's amazing. Because I don't want to know when other games are happening. I don't care. I want to know only when my teams are playing in all the leagues for all the sports. That's what I want to know. Four of 76 here, 47 pay. The Bounty 109 were sitting on 3,500 after we lost that big draw to S. Hawking. What's up, X Parrot? Cheers, tough spot. Glad you like it, man. All right, sevens. 29 bigs. And we cover. This is a shove. Shove with the sevens. Uh, we really don't mind given the bounty equity against TITI here. And then this is probably relatively weak in that they just call in the small. I mean, sometimes they can slow play here because the stacks are awkward. Like, you might want to slow play aces every once in a while to not panic here. To, oh. Well, quads are good. <laughs> so I'm going to raise here because three of these stacks are sort of irrelevant with how short they are. So it's like two people we are kind of sweating. Two people we'd prefer to fold. And down here in the 109, we're going to get in our 2.8 big blinds. <coughs> Cheers, Crackhead978. Thanks for being here, man. Okay, we just need an ace. Actually doing okay. Set of sevens, scoop dizzy. Here with the ace seven. It gets a very passive opponent. Just go for a small bet here.
Will the five three suit it? Okay, E7 takes it. Jamie, Mrs. Poop took the older two to see Mary Poppins. Lincoln is napping. Have some rare peace of quiet. Please make the most of it. A, the Poop 34. It's the last sermon of the day, of the evening for me. Do my best, though. Do my best. By the way, what's it like? I mean, this is interesting to me. What's it like being Jewish on Christmas? What do you do on Christmas? I mean, I understand it probably doesn't have any, like, significance, but, like, it does to a lot of the world. So, like, do you change up your day or do you just kind of live a normal day? What's the plan? Okay, so two all-ins. 1,200 to win 6K. Sure, I'll get involved. I'll get involved. Flash score app can see the fixtures for all your teams across all sports. Okay. There we go. Nice. Sky Sports, Yahoo Sports, ESPN app. Okay, so everything. Vicar, we don't even need a binder. There's all these apps that can do it. I don't know. Yahoo Sports, Flash Scores app, ESPN app. Yeah, see that if that's true, but these I, I did explain to these people like exactly what I wanted. Like I don't want to see any other games. I want to see only my games. I explained to them. Have you used that? Sorry. I've used it. I know what to do. doesn't believe. She doesn't believe in this. But I'm gonna be so tilted if I try and download one of these apps and then I see a push notification for a Maple Leafs game. I'm gonna be so upset because I don't care at all. I don't know, B car. We'll have to see. <coughs> Use flash score and press in the team you want to follow. All right, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Um, App Store. Flash score. get it only has 37 reviews i feel like this is a niche app man i love being able to download things with my face it's nice i am a messy fan though yeah i remember watching messy not this world cup but the last one and I became a big fan. I'd like to send you notifications. All right. I might revoke that in a second, Flash Gore, but let's see. Oh, I have to create an account. Okay. All competitions for football. It has a lot of sports here. Okay. So let me try, let me try hockey first. Ice hockey. It might be on this app. I don't know where this app's from. Um, excuse me. Hockey, right. NHL, oh wow, it does have a lot of apps, Rebecca. This is actually maybe the, the key. ND Storm Games, drop of 41 months. Let's get some love in the chat for 41 months. Merry Christmas, Jamie. Thank you, man. Merry Christmas to you as well. Hope you're having a great day. For just ice hockey, Rebecca, it has Russian KHL, NHL, Extra League in Belarus, Championship League in Kazakhstan, VHL, MHL, VHLB, NH. It has like six leagues in Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and then international. This could be it. But wait a second. It's showing all the games that happened today. 
I don't know if this is the best to look into this on stream. I'm not sure. I don't want to go all games. I want to go... Show odds. It's interesting. Show odds. All right. I'm going to make an account. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to use a shit email because... Um, Because I don't want spam emails, please. Okay. All right, I'll look it up. I'll look at it later. We got to win this tournament. <laughs> We're seven off the money. That might be awesome, though. Uh, what else? Uh, my Jewish friends tell me that they primarily eat Chinese food on Christmas. We go to the movies, eat Chinese food, but Mrs. Poop is a nurse, so she's working tomorrow, so we're doing that today. Ah, fair play. Movie and Chinese food. Sounds nice. That's nice. <laughs> Mrs. Poop volunteers to work every Christmas so an extra person can have the day off. Yeah. Nice. Okay. My neighbors at my family's cabin are Jewish as well. So, but they would always like participate some in, in our traditions and stuff. Ace Jack Queen 9 here, all in. Ace Jack Scoop Dizzy. Down to 52, five off the money, and we pick up Ace Jack here in seventh place. A little $756 for the win. That'd be all right. Santa, baby. Yeah? What's up? Two pound ten. Is that a lot? Yeah. Paid two pound ten for a card. That's a lot. Let me just show them the card. I bought a card. Uh, two pound ten. A lot. Christmas wishes. So wholesome. Look at it. Well decorated. Is that one for Brando? Yeah. We've All right. Well, he's getting a card, along with his gift. He's probably watching the stream while they're dropping. Yeah, well, he, you know, it's no, no surprise you're getting a card, Brando. Hey, two pound ten and he's got no suspense. Oh, my God, two pound ten, that's right. He didn't know how nice of a card it was. So Let's get a premium card. What's the Um... Mm, no. Thank you. Shoving a reshove here. We're going to fold this A6. Raise, shove, reshove. Okay. It's a lot of happening. Stakes you playing. This is a 1650. You can see it here. It was the last tournament of the day. 1650 turbo. $756 for the win. There's 51 people left. $25 is the min cash, which is in four spots. $26. Fold after this limp. This is a wild tournament, though, dude. Like, it's literally crazy. That's interesting. Okay, so the ESPN app has links to iCal subscriptions that automatically adjust based on your time zone. Also very cool. ESPN app is the best. Okay. Well, this exists in the technology world we're in. I've been out of the uh, sports watching game for like three years at least.
Really, that app over your stream? I almost got triggered, but then I just didn't <laughs> instead because it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, full the Jack 7. Four off the money. This is a weird tune. What is this? Leona Lewis. Baby, it's cold outside is coming up next, which had a decent controversy recently. And then there was a really good Reddit post about how, because uh, a lot of people thought it was a, a song that was actually about rape. So it was like people were really, um, Rallying against it. I'm pretty sure I have the right song, right? Let me just Google it to make sure. But one of these old Christmas tunes came out, and there was, like, a lot of... Uh... Yeah, so it was about, about Baby It's Cold Outside. So there was a lot of speculation that it was a song that was talking about, like, um, taking advantage. But then there was a really good Reddit post that that showed the cultural context of the uh, of the time that the song was written in that explained why it was actually about um, the social conventions of what it took to like for a woman to hook up at the time that the song was written, you know? Like it was, uh, I don't know, I should just find the Reddit post, it's really good. Let's see if I can find it. Um, okay, well, yeah, I forget where it is. It was really interesting, though. Yeah, I don't know. You guys can find that. I don't know where it is, but. There's a controversy, and it was basically explaining like the the pressure that was um, put on women at this in this era to like sleep with someone or something. They had to go through this process of like resisting, uh, you know, because that was socially the only correct thing to do was to to go through that process of like no 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 like no no, no. Um, so that they could not be seen as promiscuous, which would be like you know. Uh, a terrible thing to do. So it's like this little game of like clearly both of them know they want to hook up, but she's like playing the part of of her role in society to um, to be able to go through the process and like they both know what's going on. So the context was really interesting because I saw the controversy. I had never really listened to the song. And then I read the post about it and it was just like that makes a lot of sense. Anyways, I know I've started a war in the chat now and I just I hate myself for it, but I found it really interesting. So whatever. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Anything? I'm just going to do what I'm going to do today, you know? You told me drop in uh, 10 bits for charity. Thank you, man. And we got a dono. Yo. Nor Jasper, thank you. <coughs> thank you so much, Nor Jasper. Dropping a $15 dono. Glass of wine on Nor Jasper tonight. Thank you, man. Hi, Jamie. I'm a. Refund for the car. Hi, Jamie. I'm a huge fan of your positivity and your mindset in general. May you have a loving Christmas and a successful 2019. All the best from Denmark. Christmas hugs. Haha. -ha. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that $15 D. Biggest D of the day. Thanks for uh, spreading some cheer this way, man, for the stream. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. That'll buy, uh, that'll buy seven cards. Ace King, pretty good hand. We're in the money now. Red felt hype. <laughs> oh, B car deleting the uh, the spoiler. Fair play, B car. Show for the limp. It's 
Some cards in the States are $9. So ridiculous. Imagine that. Why is everyone limping in this comp? Uh, it's just a weak competition. <laughs> Basically, it's just it's just a soft tournament, dude, is what's going on. Going on. Like, uh, take a look here. Uh, about how many people we have tagged in this field. Like, honestly, less than 30 people in a 270-person field is incredible. We might win. We'll see. What's up, Albertan777? How you doing, man? Thanks for popping by. What uh, video are we going to play on break here? So we played the vlog. Um, There's a lot of questions about bankroll management, so... Let me find that video that I, I made on that. Bankroll management, there it is. Play that on break. Oh, thank you, man. 21 best sports apps of 2017. Thanks for linking that to me. And we're going to shove the King Jack here. Very short stacks behind us. Matty Betts dropping 200 bits. Thank you, man. Hey, man, Merry Christmas from Leeds. Dude, we're right up the road. Pop on train. Keep smashing it, brother. Thank you, dude. Are trains running today, by the way? Probably not. And another 300 on top. That's 500 bits in the house from Matty Betts. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate that. We're going to fold the 10-8. 10 of 33 now. Thank you, man. Bum, ba, ba. I'm wondering about what I should do because there's a uh, I'm wondering what I should do after I ship this tournament. I might play a um a rerun. I see Lex is playing a rerun as well. What do you guys think? Do you want to see more poker from me tonight? Obviously, it wouldn't be live, but I could like run a run a highlight or something. Yes. No, I'm not going to tonight though. I think on the 26th I'll play some like just off stream, probably, and tomorrow night too because tomorrow night I'm not playing MTTs, but I could play some spins. Yeah. What are you doing over there? She's wrapping a gift over there. Oh, my God. Okay, I won't. Uh, what's your stand for limps in front of you where you do cut off raising for value, bluffing, or limping along? I, I don't know how to answer that question, dude. When do you cut off raising for value, bluffing, and limping? It depends on a bunch of different factors like position, stack depth, your opponent's stack depth, all that sort of stuff, dude. Antes, no antes, all that. So, yeah, it's a tough one to answer. All right, guys, I'm going to pause for a quick second. We're going to enjoy this video for five minutes on break, and I'll be back to hopefully win this tournament. When we come back, stay with me. Ba -da 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 -da. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I don't have any snow here, and I'm missing it. Because uh, guess what? It just rains in England. <laughs> yeah. It does. Maddie Betts dropping some more bits. Dude, Maddie Betts. 1,010 bits in the house. Thank you, Maddie Betts. We should have done like Christmas Eve karaoke or something. <laughs> Based on how the session's gone. Hey, Jamie, much love from Greece. Thank you, man. Thank you. And Onenphobi, thank you.
No, we want live, not highlight. But you're not getting live, right? Live will be over. So you can have nothing or you can have rerun. What do you think? But uh, yeah, I'm going to be done streaming after this. And enjoy Christmas Eve. Um, where's Let It Snow? I want to I wanna listen to... Nah, it's fine. I don't care that much. I'm going to fold. He's ever in lead strings on me. All right, man. Sounds good. I'll be by at some point, I'm sure. Limp from a yacht. A yacht who is limping half their hands and hasn't raised yet. Interesting. Ace Queen. We have an all-in from a senior. Let's gamble, my friend. Down to 27 $30 locked up, but we want this pot to take us well above average. Against King Queen, doing well. Good start. Come on. Hey, let's go. 50K. $50K. Okay, we'll raise here. Very passive opponent, right? So we're going to get a lot of calls here in the small blind. Yikes. And they shove. We have to call because we're getting insane odds. But, like, this is probably pretty strong. Yeah. I mean, we still have to call, though. We only need 30% with ace-10. Oh, get there. Get there, Dottie. Let's go. Man, I wouldn't mind shipping a tournament. That'd be okay. Uh, for the Queen 10. Is five. All right, and the folds. I think just shove is the right move. When you come to Scotland, preferably Glasgow. Um, oh, call them both spots. We're ahead, actually, of the ace four, which is the big pot. We win a lot here. We're to 86K. Let's go. Is that where uh, your sister and, and her boyfriend went? Glasgow. No, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Um, I don't know, but we might though. They had really good reviews of Edinburgh. I don't know about Glasgow though. We're gonna be going to London, so that's quite a quite a train. But there's always a chance we check it out. Why not? Was that a YouTube video about bankroll management? It was. Yeah, from my bankroll management channel. I'll link it for you. There you go. You moved to England or just visiting? Traveling a bunch. So uh, I don't live here permanently, but I've uh, been here for a while. Rebecca's from here, but just traveling. Getting 27 degrees Celsius here in Melbourne today. Enjoy it, my friend. Raining in Norway as well.
This is Sam Smith. Such a big fan of Sam Smith. I like his stuff a lot. You have to win before you can enjoy the holiday. I'm going to do my best. Two of 19 here. Watching you for the last two, three years. George the Greek, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Wish you all the best for you and your girl. Thank you, man. All right, min raising the button. We'll call. They're playing kind of tight, but still. Very good price here to try and flop something decent. That's not decent at all. <laughs> so we'll check fold. One away from a pay jump, but to $43. $7.56 for the win. We might win this V-car. Two of 18. It's getting real. Less Sorry? Less ago. Less ago. Well, 10 for it. All right, sixes is good. Uh, reshove against a raise here. Gets Rafalak tree. It's kind of weird. Um, I'm going to call in position. We'd call a squeeze here and then kind of gross against this squeeze, honestly. But this is kind of good. A squeeze and then hopefully a fold. If they reshove, we can get out of the way, you know? I like that they shoved in the small blind. Fold. Okay. Three's ace king. We did have the best pair. Doesn't count, though. Ace king's going to take it down, anyways, up to 38k. We're at 74. Well, queen six, not good enough for me. <coughs> All right, pocket fours. It's a bit awkward here, but the big blind, it's not really a hand, so we're five-handed. But Rafalak Tree is going to limp. Can we limp along? Probably, honestly, at this table. I think so. Why are you going to London? Is there any live games? Not for live games, just to live. Spent two days of my life in London. I really enjoyed it. I'm excited for a big city, the big city sort of feel and vibes and life, so... Yeah, Rebecca's got some um, some healthcare stuff she's got to go through with her ear and stuff. So she's got appointments with that through the NHS, and the next one is like January 28th or something like that, and then it gets scheduled for another one and stuff. So we have to be in England, basically, for that. So, yeah. Uh, I don't like raising this. Everything about Northern Ireland for a while. I haven't considered it. But uh, it could be cool. Why not? Uh, Belfast? Belfast? Blinds going up to 1,500. 3K. We're in the big blind here. 
415, so we hit that page down to 4370. Let's open up the lobby so we can sweat payouts and then also open up the other table. Here's what we're looking at. 5261, a final table starts at $73 all the way up to 756 for the win. <clears throat> Jack's Ace King, Jack Scoop It for 133K. That's a nice stack, dude. Chip leader in the tournament now, right here. Four of fourteen. Fold here. That was uh, Coldplay, right? Yeah. Got some more Buble following up. Jacks against tens all in. Probably down to 13 here. We are down to 13. Watch your YouTube videos, and this is my first stream. Would you like my prime sub? If you want to throw it out there, dude, that'd make me pretty happy. That'd be a nice Christmas gift. Cheers, man. Thanks for watching the YouTube, and thanks for checking out the live stream as well. Welcome. Um, it's a bit awkward here with Queen-10 suited from the chip leader. Gonna fold. Jack Deuce. Yeah, this is the last one, Jabodi. Yep. I have an all-in on the other table. Fives, ace, queen. Looks like we're down to 12. Henchman, 77, dropping the 25 months. Two years plus a month. Thank you so much, Henchman. Welcome back to the team, man. Hearts out and chat, you guys. That resub. <coughs> that would have been um, Montreal was your first sub, right? 25 months ago. Can't believe that was two years ago. When we first started traveling, basically. Well, I mean, we went to Calgary for 14 months first, and then Montreal for four months. Austria, three months. Croatia, three months. Romania for two weeks. Wales for two months. Costa Rica for three months. Malta for three months. Canada for six months. And now England for four months. It's been uh it's been all right. All right, we're going to defend with the 6 8 of diamonds. Pretty interesting here. Jack 6 3 with the backdoor diamonds. It's a very dry flop. We have probably the chip leader here. Yeah, chip leader in the tournament. So I think check raise the right move against the C bet. It's 21k in the middle and we'd be risking 57,000. When we're wrong, we have some equity. Back to our flush draw and the pair. You know, five outs, two times, 20% to improve. But I would say like 65, 70% of the time, they don't have a pair here. Take it down. 78K. Queens, okay. Look, queen, queen action.
Do it. Do it. And shove. I was thinking about limping for a second, but I think shoving is the right move. Queen's a7. Not good. <laughs> Yo, congratulations, Dale. Nice ship, man. Congratulations on the ship of the tournament. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pile the ace nine. Down to ten. Sixty-one, ninety-one locked up. Rough luck tree raises. Min raises up fifteen. I still think it's a shove with ace nine though. We're the shortest stack of the tournament. Long thinking a call with ace ten five. Nine will do. Nine's alright. Back up to sixty six K. We're not dead yet. Fold the seven four. JK George the Greek, drop the sub. Welcome to Dreamers Inc. Let's get some love of the chat for the new subscriber. George the Greek. Thank you, man. Appreciate it very much. Satred, they, they canceled some tournaments today because it's one of the lowest volume days of the year for, uh, for online poker. Mm, not quite a raise here. Sure, there's a few that are canceled. Okay. Vika, are you all done your wrapping? What? Are you all done your wrapping? Yeah. That's it. Complete. I've done all that with Randas. We just need to finish off Randas' presents. Okay. So basically, um, no more gift wrapping in 2018. I mean, I will still have some. Wait, we got a spot here with Queen 8 against Ruffle Luck Tree. There's ICM pressure here, so I think we have to fold. Now we're middle of the pack, so... Uh, in terms of chips, we'd call here, but we can't call because we're final 10. What was that? We'll still have something to do. Will we? Because they get them done. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. 30 days of stream in December? Not this year, man. <laughs> Maybe in a future year, though. And dad's birthday. And your dad's birthday. There's more wrapping in 2018. Full the jack four. Whereabouts in England? Uh, Harrogate, North Yorkshire. All right, Maddie Betts, I'll check it out. My Snapchat's weird though; it won't let me add people anymore. I can still receive snaps from people, but I, I don't know if there's a cap on the amount of people you can have or something. But I might have it. Uh, Queen ten for fifteen bigs. So we can definitely shove, but the question is, do we want to min raise? No. Senior in the small blind, shove's going to be better. Take it down, all right. And we are at the unofficial final table. You guys know what that means. Final table hype of the 1658 Max Turbo. We are currently guaranteed $73.69. First place is $756.20. Here is um, all the info on payouts and all that. So let's uh, let's take this thing down, man. Let's get it done. Thank you guys so much for being here. Spasm KO, 13-month resub. Welcome back to the team, man. Hearts on chat for Spasm KO. Merry Christmas, Jamie. Wish you all the best in the new year and good luck, luck today on the streets. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you.
Okay. You run bad the last few days I've watched. You always get out drama, man. I feel for you. Merry Christmas from Ozzy Land. Thank you, dude. I've been running bad for two months, honestly. It's been a pretty rough go, but it's all right. Just keep battling, and things will work out in the long run. <coughs> Hold it for three. And fold this king nine. Interesting with the ace deuce. I think it's a a close shove, probably a shove, but close. Uh, and then also, depending on the other stacks, like even though we're in sixth here, it's probably going to be a fold because stacks are close enough that we don't want to take thin edges. So I'm going to fold. I definitely, I'm not super confident that's right or wrong. Could be either way. We got a dono bird. Hey, Lurky Long Time with a $20 dono. Thank you so much, Lurky Long Time. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the Merry Christmas gift. We got 20 bucks, B car. That bottle of wine is free. Thanks for the wine, man. Appreciate the 20. Is it time for a glass yet, or should we wait till after the final table? I think after that, what do you want? I think till after the final table, maybe. Do you want a glass? I'll wait till after the final table. I think so. A lot of Greek viewers. Happy Christmas from Thessaloniki. Hey, thank you. Thanks, my friend. All right, ace eight of clubs. Grill on Twitch. Whoa, this is a big one. 41 months. All I want for Christmas is a lemon lion. A Merry Christmas to B-Car and Brando to Stap Heart. Thank you so much, Grill on Twitch. It's the love of the chat for her. Thank you so much. We're going to shove the Ace-8 here. I think, again, this is a weird one because of the stacks, but Ace-8 suited is a lot better than Ace-2 off. We're going to give it a go. Difference between 9th and 6th is about $70. Thank you, Grill on Twitch. I hope you're having a great holiday season. Okay. Keep it firing. All right, this tune is a bit much for me. Britney Spears... No shots fired, but I'm not about it right now. Let's go with... Um, browse. Happy holidays. Hmm... Christmas jazz. I'm about it. <clears throat> unofficial final table. I only said unofficial because it's an 8-max tournament. We're nine-handed. That's why I said it. I guess I should change the title to be final table.
And we got to fold the 5-4. Steve OAB, cheers, man. Thanks, Steve. Okay, King Seven suited, but we're really uh, we're staying patient here. We are going to shove the King Seven suited on the button. Only two players left to act. Small blind only has six bigs, so we cover, and they can't call that wide. But uh, we do get called, which is bad news. We're flipping actually. It was pretty interesting. I thought fours would fold there. It was straight. Hundred five k. I don't. I don't know about the fours. I guess like being in last, maybe you should call. Don't know. Close one. I'm not going to reshove here, though. Still a lot of payout pressure. Like, difference between first and fifth is 30,000 chips, so. Yeah. $20 wine. It was a $20 bottle. I don't know if that's expensive or not expensive. I don't know. Is that expensive wine or not expensive, guys? I feel like it's like mid-range, you know? Pocket eights. I guess we shove. Um, we're not in love with the situation, but I think we have to shove. It's pretty tight to adjust and not shove here. Like, we're not shoving fives, you know. Definitely not. Take it down, 130. This is good. We're actually leading right now. This is how close together we are. All right, take it down. What was that? Two. We're in the lead. First of eight. But a very slim lead. Basically, you could consider us tied for first with four other people. All right, here's an all-in king three, queen ten. Good flop for the queen ten. Needs an eight, a queen, a ten, or a king. Can't make it happen, though. The king it doubles up. And now the person on our right is short, which kind of sucks because they get shoving us a lot. But uh, as is, is fine. Mads is going to raise under the gun. We're not going to defend. Even if both players call, it's still fold. Okay, so fold. Got me into poker about three years ago. I fell out of it for a while, but your bankroll video gave me a great path into it. Love from Ireland and Merry Christmas. Hey, Jaws, I'm so glad to hear that, man. Best of luck with your uh, new adventure back into poker. And can we get some love in the chat for Cruel? Drop the sub using Twitch Prime. Welcome to the team, Cruel. Hearts out in the chat. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. 5-3 suited. Mm-hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Fold now for sure. Okay. 
And uh, still got the lead by 500 chips. Ace queen suited. We would call a shove here. That folds to us. Uh, I think open shove, guys. Raise calling against these big stacks sucks, and ace queen suit is very strong. Full shove. Take it down, 148. Bit of a lead, and now king jack. Okay, I think min raise, fold to reshoves from the bigger stacks, and then we'd have to call the small blind. You seen any Christmas movie this year? I haven't, dude. I haven't. It's been it's been a weird uh, holidays because I went to Prague for twelve days, right? Which is like a Christmas city. So I was there for a long time in the hotel, and then I came back, and I've been like working a bunch since I've been back. I did buy gifts one morning, but it's like I don't know. It doesn't feel the same yet. But tomorrow will feel good, you know. Like tomorrow, I get to. Enjoy uh, Rebecca's granddad and dad and uh, Brando, Rebecca, and I have a Christmas dinner, you know, open presents. I'm brother. And granddad's brother? Okay, nice. Great. $20 as cheap as F. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Probably culturally dependent. Like, I'm, I'm sure you can get a much better wine in France for $5 than you can in, like, the middle of somewhere that's not known for wine. Um, like I just know when I go out to restaurants, like buying a bottle at a restaurant is like just double the price. Like a glass is like $10 or whatever, $15. So I'm definitely swayed by that. Ace King, um, shove again. Okay. We don't really want to raise call given we're in second. But we're all so bunched up together. Just open shoving is the right move here, I think. Three eight of hearts. Fortunately, can't call this all in. Even getting a really good prize can't do it. We are down to seven. $119 locked. We have another $630 to play for, though. I was just wondering if I could steal your win poker tournaments and buy art idea. No, go for it, dude. Go for it. I'm happy for people to adopt that as a, a thing. Not going to uh, Rebecca's parents tonight, no. Tonight's all chill. I don't know what we're going to do. Probably watch a holiday movie. 
A glass of wine, bit of reading. Just hang. Yeah. Nine five of diamonds. We if you had king queen off in that spot instead of king jack, would you fold to a reshove? Yes. Like you have to call reshoves really tight at these uh, final tables. You have to call reshoves really tight. Um, and the concept of play is ICM, right? So like you don't want to take small edges like three percent, four percent edges, which in normal situations is golden. You know, it's amazing. I saw your name in chat and I read it as golden. <laughs> it's golden. Um, but at a final table, when we're all bunched up like this, you know, it's like if we're taking a an edge where we are fifty four percent to forty six percent, for example, and forty six percent of the time we bust and get seventh place money, and then the other fifty four percent of the time we double up. But are we going to make up for the amount of money we lose when we lose that flip by doubling up? No, basically. It's not linear. It's not like each chip is worth an equal amount of dollars because there's only limited dollars to play for here. Some of the money's already been cashed out of the tournament. So that's the principles of ICM, which means we need to have bigger edges than we normally have in these situations. Um, so you can't just like... Look up, does this net me chips? Yes, I do it. That's not the play at these FTs. Thanks, man. Well, the three five of diamonds. All right. Oh, sorry. Queens. <coughs> um, here, I think your hand is strong enough to actually min raise. We should be able to induce some reshoves here from Mad, who is a big chip leader. Uh, and it looks like we're raised folding. We get shoved on for four fee against ten three suited, which thought that we were like just never raise calling with really good hands, and we kind of got him there. Which is great. Raise it up with the jacks. <coughs> Furphy just assumed like basically we had way too many raise folds so that they could reshove all hands properly. They were incorrect in that we were raise calling some slow plays. So we are second place of six remaining. $162 locked up, but we got a flip here. Flip's not going well. Have you ever played GeoGuessr? I have a little bit, yeah. I feel like I'm okay at GeoGuessr. I might play like 10 minutes of GeoGuessr after this final table. You ever played? What's that? GeoGuessr. It's where you like guess where your location... You get a Google map area, and you can move around, and you have to guess where it is on the map. Oh my god, that'd be terrible. Mm. I feel like I'd be okay at it. Got a call here for five big blinds with the king. And it just doesn't hurt us that much, you know? Like, we'd have to call an extra 28,000. If we lose 28K, we're still in a clear second place, so. Have you considered doing one-on-one -on -one coaching for extra income? I used to do that, like, way at the beginning of my stream. But times are a little bit busy now, you know? It's like one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's cool, but um, I can make things that gain awareness that I think theoretically will make me more money in the in the long run. Not that I don't enjoy it. And for like, I mean, kind of selfishly, egotistically, but truthfully, what I'd have to value my time at for an hour of time with someone or half an hour, you'd be paying a lot more for me than what you could get for an equally skilled coach. Um, you know, that just wasn't as well known. So I, I just, I feel like I'd get way too much shit for how much money I'd ask for like an hour. So I'm just... I just don't, basically. 
Uh, sevens. Huh. The stupid part is like raise and then mad shoves. You'd have to raise fold sevens. So I guess I'll just open shove. Ferruccio. Of course, dude. Yeah. Feel free, man. So here we're going to raise folds and then raise call small blind and then probably raise fold big blind too. It's playing quite tight. They three bet less than all in that of 66K, which to me has a decent amount of bluffs in it. Ooh. But it does put us in the cage. Yeah. Yeah, like second place is $555. We have 162 locked up here. Um, I think four bet ace queen if mad three bets again. Yeah, we'll four bet this time. Ace queen one pip better, and we have more information that they're like three betting a lot. One sixty two thirty locked up. The four bet gets through, and we're at three hundred k. Now puts us in a solid lead. Just gonna fold the queen six. So would you re-raise all in range? Also be tight. It's about the same, but it has more effectiveness, Buvishora, because our opponents have to call tighter, right? Which means we could theoretically shove more. But then again, we also want a bigger edge for ourselves when called. So it's about the same. But some, in some situations, like, it can be a lot wider. It really depends on the specific spot. All right, we have them dominated. Very lucky. And, wow, they run bad to not chop here. Down to five. We are in first place with $220 locked up right now. Limp shove call, aces, king, queen. It's a cooler for king, queen, man. I definitely like the shove, but uh, aces played it really well. And we've got someone on the ropes now. Ismo Seppo. Is that the Ismo? What's up? Tens, nine, deuce. All right, we're four-handed. Four-handed. The tank is on. And we're going to raise this up blind versus blind. These three stacks being like half of our stack, I think it's a spot where we can put a decent amount of pressure on. Get snap piled on, though. And uh, we obviously have to fold one of the weaker hands we're going to have. A4 suited. We'll go for a raise here again. Folds. 200, 200, 260, and 120. So things have changed. We don't have as much power after we lose those two hands. They're still doing fine, though.
Okay, small bet on this flop of a6-5. Takes it down. And an open shovel folds. And now we're kind of tied at the top here, honestly. It's like a three-way tie for first and then a clear fourth or last or whatever you want to say. I'm going to fold the deuce nine out of position. Fold jack six. Big card dead, but we'll hang. So three hundred dollars locked up right now, but it's seven fifty six for the win, four fifty to play for. This will be a call of a shove. Ace five has a big enough edge against the random shove range. They have sevens, which is very unlucky, but then we just hit an ace, which is very lucky. Come on, man, let's go. Down to three, and we're in the lead. Not gonna raise five four. First to three, four hundred dollars locked up. Another two fifty to play for. Raise on the button. Um. I think defend. Shove is an option as well, but we'll defend. We flop pretty well. Top pair of kings. Check, check. It's bet turn. Take it down. All right. 382. I think limp fold here. Flop at the top pair. Running hot. I'm going to bet again here thin, but uh, I don't think they have that many aces. Most of them are going to raise or shove pre. Uh, there's going to be a few, and it looks really bluffy when we bet that turn. Check river. Over bet, but like, it doesn't make any sense, right? Because what draws exactly can they have here? King jack, king 10, jacks like 10 seven jack seven um but like most of the time they're just gonna have like an eight or a nine which is never gonna want to shove here so they're representing only those and like the flushes and the aces which there's like a lot of them so i definitely don't think they should overbet on that river it doesn't make any uh doesn't make any sense we'll raise the king on the button um yeah because it's like most of their value range on the turn that calls flop and turn have a pair, so it's just not going to overbet, you know? You all right, B-Car? You all right? Yeah. Um, do say suited. <laughs> Bit awkward here. It is suited, but it's pretty trashy, too. I'm just a fan of uh, Ismo Seppo. Okay, nice. Um, limp button. It's a pretty good flop. We didn't want to raise call or raise folds, uh, so that's why I like limping with a7 suited. And I think just raise now. Uh, we have so much equity with the open ender, the nut flush draw, the overcard. So basically, we're representing a shove here. Um, if they do shove, we're fine calling off. Like, we'll risk our tournament life on this huge of a draw. We can get it in against worse draws, you know? Like, jack 10 with diamonds, or like king high flush draw, or queen high flush draw, like all sorts of stuff. So this is it. Against a flop straight, we have 40%. That's the worst case scenario. 40% does not come through, unfortunately. Ah, oh, that's the worst case scenario, man, when they have the 7-10. Looks like we're going to get third. <laughs> Jack-10, king-4. That's it, guys. Full house, GG. We're going to go out in third place for $400. That's a wrap. I'll take it, you know. Honestly, I think I played uh, okay there. I mean, I, I should brush up on some ICM and stuff because a few of those shove spots wasn't super nailed in in my mind on, like, what the range should be. So... That's something to think about for the future. But uh, in general, I had a great time, and I hope you guys did as well. Thanks to the 16 new subs, Lurky Long Time with the $20 dono, and Matty Betts with the 1,000 bits.
top supporters of the day. Thank you guys. Um, I'm going to have a good evening. I'm going to hang with B-Car, um, bring on Christmas Day, and uh, then get a good sleep and hit it tomorrow. I'm probably going to be streaming tomorrow night a few spinigos, but late, like starting later than now or around now. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. So thank you guys for being here. I'm going to host someone in the listing. Thanks so much for watching, but until next time, we'll see you later.